I love that. I'm Mr. The Flash, but you can call me JD. I'm Kama Vakantar, also known as Just Hunter. This is a hero story, episode 175. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, I was eating a Rice Krispie treat, and Hunter said, I'm going to start recording right as you take a bite. But I thought he was joking, so I took a bite. But, but I wasn't. And the episode had started. So and you're not done. <laughs> I'm not done. So I'm going to have a Rice Krispie. It's got a little M&Ms in it. Yep, exactly. But they're not allowed to call them M&Ms. On the side of the box, it says, like, rainbow chocolate morsel or something like that but it's, like, it's called m&m it's an it's m&m M&Ms. yeah uh anyway, yeah that's that's our thoughts about m&ms um, episode 175 <laughs> we're celebrating by firing sean and harper <laughs> <laughs> thank god right yeah. Jeez. back to the ogs it's always weird now when we do like it's just an episode with me and you which is weird because we've done like 100 episodes with just me and Over you, but... oh yeah about 100 i guess yeah we've been doing this for a while uh nothing, nothing planned literally nothing planned. just yeah Got, got some questions, got some comics, and no surprise Mark Wade interview or Joshua just Williamson. Keep, but... Just keep it simple. Uh, yeah. We'll start with the news of the week. Uh, solicitations for DC probably drop tomorrow. Um, we record on Thursday nights. They usually record, they usually release on Friday. We have but, a little bit of DC comic news that they released early, but mm-hmm. some big But DC we got Marvel news. stuff too. We have Marvel solicitations to look through. Yeah, That's exactly. Like, so, fire off some news. If this is your first time listening to us, wow, 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 175. Don't listen to the old episodes like some of you apparently do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Caleb was saying that Caleb, who replaced me for a month in 2020 on the show, he says his girlfriend only listens to old episodes. I thought that was odd since our podcast I mean, kind of talks about current comics coming out now. Fair, so. but th- there's a lot of, there's like a, we can make like a best of a hero story, just like random clips of, you know, just yeah. great moments. I think we've had a lot of great moments. Yeah, we've had some good moments. Wow, some. I said I said great, you said good. <laughs> yeah, wow. we we've had we've had some. Good, I mean, we, we got Mark Wade on. That was pretty great. That was that uh, was like the highlight of like my life. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I we want to do more guests too. Uh, if you want us to do more guests, feel free to let us know. We've messaged actually quite a few writers. We've oftentimes tried. it's left on read. Chip Zdarsky, oh, e- Mitch Jarrett, CTED rejected. I'm pretty sure Mitch said that he bought a mic for podcasts. And I don't know any podcast. <laughs> I've like, not seen a post about one. Yeah, podcast I haven't. I haven't heard Mitch on a podcast. He's the artist from Strange Adventures, Mr. Miracle. He's doing covers for Flashpoint Beyond, but which is, we'll oh, get to. Oh, we'll we'll get to. We'll oh, get to. Oh, oh. What he said, that? like, hey, comic book podcast, message me. I'm ready. And so we messaged him, and he read it, and he liked the message, but he never said anything. <laughs> so. He was never actually ready he was lying yeah I, yeah so it's like okay thanks. somehow thanks, mitch. mitch drods has returned maybe one day we'll get him on we, we tried chip zadarsky left on red tom taylor i feel like we got this for him i want tom taylor so bad i comment praise to all of his posts and he God always likes tom my taylor. comment he commented on one of my posts he commented on one of mine too we oh, got God, this. I, I... He commented on your post? I didn't see that. He commented on my Dark Knights of Steel one. And he was like, thanks for reading, everyone. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Oh, should my we, God. He's got to get on the podcast. Should we message him right now? I mean, he's not going to respond. I, I heard he's very active on Twitter. However, we're not very active on Twitter. No, we're not As at in, all. I don't have a Twitter and you don't have a Twitter. No. <laughs> so I, I technically do have a Twitter. Um, it's. It I technically have one from like years ago that hasn't it's been not It's got dust on yeah. it. It's not active at all. Let's see. Let, let me... Let me message him. How about we just send him a message? What, what should I say? I'll give you a spoiler. Whatever you say is not going to work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. He commented, cheers. Thanks for reading. Oh, he's Australian. That makes sense. You know, we have an Australian host who has had the opportunity to meet Tom Taylor multiple times. Why uh, he doesn't go there and bring up the podcast, I'll never know. He's never yeah. viewed my story. That's the thing. A that, that's, yeah, friends. you need you need to view the story so you get into the messages. But uh, okay, we will keep well, trying. Tom Taylor is a one day quest. I I, I think it's gonna happen one day. It, it, happen it'll one happen. Day. Like we love your Nightwing. I love your Dark Knights love of Steel. It. We I will read every issue of Dark Knights of Steel if we get him on the episode. Oh, there we go. See, there we go. We got a brand new sale for you, Tom Taylor. <laughs> Anyways, new news. <laughs> we'll jump into that. I guess I'll message them another time. We'll try to. Uh, Moon Knight trailer. That's the first thing. And poster. It looks promising. It looks really good, actually. It looks very good, yeah. Yeah, this, I mean, everyone said this over every single Disney Plus show that's come out, but this might be the best one on Disney Plus. A lot of people said that about Hawkeye, me including. It was not the best one. It was enjoyable. 
couple problems here and there but i think moon knight is a character it's so fresh and it seems like from what we could see in this trailer that they're going very much they're not like disrespecting the character or anything it looks accurate enough it seems like he's beating up a werewolf at the end werewolf by night mm. like, did you notice that i did yeah i saw so, a post about that so i mean i saw a lot of posts about the von doom thing and then it got like, debunked like right away yeah because it was like it was not von doom yeah, it was something I else. got excited for like half a second, and then I was like, "Well, why would that be in if Moon Doctor?" Knight? Yeah, if Doctor Doom's coming, it's not going to appear in Moon Knight. I I don't know if we could even expect any surprise appearances in this. It's just it's a Moon Knight origin story essentially. It's probably going to be six episodes long, and just about Moon Knight. I'm excited. Moon Knight's a great character, and Oscar Isaac is a great pick for him. But I'm still not sold on Oscar Isaac. I don't know. Really? Do you not like him as an actor? Or? I think he's okay. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan. What have you seen with him besides Star Wars? Oh, uh, Star Wars: The Fourth Away. Uh, yeah, no, okay. he's in um, Ex Machina. Oh, didn't see that coming, no, did you? No, I didn't. Uh, uh, he's in. I thought you were gonna say X Men Apocalypse, which is also correct. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's in uh, Into the Spider Verse. This little film, and not, I don't, it's a little indie film. Don't yeah, know he plays it. a really big role in that. <laughs> I don't know. I. I feel like he fits the role and he seems excited. Marvel released him reacting to the trailer. And when the suit reveal came, he, he got really excited. There was an interview where he said he's only doing. Oh, I've seen him in Drive as well. Too. Oh, there you go. Okay. You've seen him in movies. But I've seen two movies. With him. Have you seen Dune? I have not seen Dune. Okay. Well, he's in that. Is Dune uh, worth the watch? I'd say it's worth the watch. Yeah. It's on HBO Max. I I'm, a, I'm a movie guy. I enjoy it. You, you read the book, right? I did read the book. I read the first three books. Is it any good? Like, is it an interesting story? Yeah, no, that's good. I watched I, a documentary about, like, the making of the original Dune film. Oh, how, I've like, never actually seen that one. So, apparently, it got, like, way thrown off. It reminded me of, like, the... This is, like, when the Justice League came out and, like, the whole Snyder oh, ship was going down. Yeah. It reminded me so much of that. Like, a new director took over. The whole film changed. The original director wanted oh, the movie out there. No. Never, I was like, whoa, this is, like, freaky. <laughs> Release the... Snyder cut of Dune, whatever, the, whatever that Dune 1971 or whatever year it was. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Moon Knight, it it looks good to me. I I will say though, like I think Moon Knight's a great character. Personally, I haven't read that much Moon Knight. I've read a single run of Moon Knight. Six and, issues of Warren Ellis, which doesn't have that much dialogue. Yeah, exactly. And I, I've seen him in a lot of uh, events, and I've read the first two, maybe the first three issues of the current run. I enjoy the character. I think it's a great character, but I wouldn't consider myself like a Moon Knight fan yet. I'll read it. Yeah. I was going to hate me for wanting to read Moon Knight. But I will read every read, issue of Moon Knight. I will read every, with Werewolf by Night. every single one. Uh, there's probably not that many. What's the legacy number on that? I got no idea. I, I can't imagine it's that high either, but you know what? I don't think you're going to read it all because you do this. You jump between No, I'm not going to read it all. I'm just curious because like Black Widow, how many Black Widow issues are there? There's like, like just hit like 200 or something like that. No, no, like 53 or something. Oh, really? It has Electra, Electra is hitting 100. Did you see that? Yeah. I, what? I was like, I was like, what? How does she have 100 issues? Yeah, I, mean, I was I know, shocked by that. She had a solo series in like the 90s, I guess. But yeah, she has more issues than Black Widow. That's kind of nuts. That, that's shocking to me. Yeah, I think Moon Knight Eight came out this week. Let's see. I'll, I'll look up the cover and I'll zoom in on that legacy thing. No, oh, no, it wasn't eight. Nine or seven? The number doesn't matter. The legacy number is what you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for. Oh man, it doesn't say on the cover. Regardless, Anyways, uh, I can't imagine it's a high number. This Until is great. Tyler podcast. corrects you in the comment section. It's actually like 572. But oh, here it is. Uh, okay, so McKay's run it was in the 200s. Okay, McKay's the current run, isn't he? Is it? Yes, it is. Okay, so it's it's just over two hundred. My bad. Yeah. Okay, so well, Hunter is going to read. So as confirmed on episode one seventy five. No, I'm not. Gonna... Hunter will be reading all two hundred issues of Moon Knight, and delivering us a review by next week. I don't plan on reading any Moon Knight. I'll probably read some leading up to the show, but I mean, my my focus for February is Batman comics. As a as yeah, a we'll talk about story. that later. But okay, well, we'll we'll get into that. Uh, first look at Batgirl in the Batgirl movie. It's not a terrible suit. It's not. It's, Thank you. It's modeled left or Burnside. I mean, mm -hmm. it looks very accurate. Mm -hmm. Burnside is arguably the most like hated era of the character, but yep. 
Uh, it, I mean, it does look accurate to it. I'm not a big fan of the leathery, you know. It, people like, are saying I think the like looks very good. I think the like the body, like the chest area, is a little leathery. But yeah, what, I mean, chest torso area. Burnside kind of looks like a leather design in general. Oh, but... I, they definitely modeled right after Burnside. It's just Burnside mm-hmm. isn't like it's not the greatest. Yeah, yeah. It's just like yeah, it looks like Burnside. Yeah, it's comic accurate, but that doesn't mean it's good <laughs> no i mean it's still it's still a good suit i just i wonder if it's gonna be one of those things where it's like the end of the movie it's like now i have my real suit which is a pet peeve of mine in superhero projects just give them the good suit from the get-go exactly yeah um you talked to drew recently have i talked to drew recently yeah uh yeah i've talked to him earlier he's in the he's in the waiting room in this call right now oh i told him we were recording <laughs> oh okay is he joining yeah, sure. Let him in. We'll, we'll get his thoughts on... And, and to the flight. We, yeah. we want his thoughts on Batgirl right away. Yeah, so Drew's been on the podcast before. For those who don't know, he was the colorist on the Hero Story Comics. Drew, now, baby, what's up? He's joining. Yo. He looks surprised to be let in. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think you guys were going to let me in. I didn't, I didn't know you were joining, but yeah, we're, we're recording right now. Yeah, I just, uh, I just remembered I had the link. So. Drew, what, <laughs> Drew, what are your thoughts on the Batgirl suit? I think it looks good. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Yeah, see? I think it looks all right. It's, Why, what do you... we, we were all saying, like, it's not necessarily bad. It's just the Burnside suit isn't her greatest suit. I will say it's way better than the suit she got after, the Heroes in Crisis one, where she doesn't yeah, have a cowl. It's more the of a mask. Ears. Yeah, I, I don't like that suit at all. So I'm glad I, I think the best that. suit that she's had is uh, Faybox design for Three Jokers. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that actually. Like the most like full Batgirl suit. I mean, even though I, I don't for I for as Oracle well over Batgirl, but if I'm gonna go with a Batgirl suit, it's gotta be the Jason Faybach one. I could see her being Batgirl for a bit and then becoming a Oracle later on, especially with the rumors of Nightwing being in this. They may be setting him up. Oh, the Nightwing rumors. Man, I want him. Do you, you want to talk you, about you know that? The, you know the rumors though. So it's between Dylan O'Brien and another guy that I can't name. One of them's <laughs> 30, one of them is 20. That's a kind of a big age gap, no? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think I mean, can you imagine a last? 20 year old Nightwing with like a what is she like? She's probably like close to 30, right? Probably, yeah. Probably, I don't know yeah. for sure. So, like, uh, let's say a 30 year old Batgirl and a 20 year old Nightwing, like, what? I mean, and, Batgirl... a, and an 80 year old Batman and Michael Keaton <laughs> in the comics, oh. isn't Barbara three years older than Dick Grayson? Yeah, she's a little bit older, but not like no, not a lot at all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the aging is very strange for the DCEU. Right I, I would I would be okay with I mean Dylan O'Brien has been rumored as every single superhero you can name for the last He's been like 10 rumored years. as Nightwing specifically since 2014. <laughs> he's been oh, rumored wow. as Spider-Man after the Gar- after yeah. Garfield. Like mm-hmm. he's been rumored for a lot of roles, but I would like him as Nightwing. I, would, I, would I, like I think that. he fits the role. He looks the part. He's kind of teased like it before too, I think. I think on Twitter he's played some games like posts and shit. Yeah, but so did that one actor who died in BVS teasing that he was Green Lantern because he was in a jet. <laughs> what a dick. Yeah, like, what's oh, your favorite color? That. Mine's green. Yeah. <laughs> it was the I guy remember. only in the extended cut who just, he has one shot of him and then died. God, can you remember all the articles that were like, Green Lantern gonna be in the in the extended cut? No. Yep. And then you see him in a jet and it just blows <laughs> off. <laughs> Right. No, well, Jordan, no. Yeah, thanks, man. He was because he was posting pictures of. I'm like, a fighter a pilot, and my suit. favorite color is green. And he was like uh, blurring out his like name yeah. tag, and what it's like, dick. Uh, what yeah. a dick. Thanks, man. He probably got mad followers from that, and then a oh, lot of yeah, followers I followed him. <laughs> same, yeah, same. Yeah. I actually thought that was like he was him. And I, I totally was like, thought uh, it was Hal Jordan. Like I don't know who you are, but you're clearly Hal Jordan. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Uh, next bit of news: the Batman is. Uh, long injected into my veins. Two hours, fifty-five minutes. Really, JD? I thought you would be kind of against the long movie. What? Yeah, I didn't expect it to be that long. Honestly, I don't know. I love I love a long movie. My favorite movie is The Godfather. That's That's, like three hours. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, I I just wasn't expecting that. You know, usually come on, Lord of the Rings, boy. You love a long movie too. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, but yeah, it's the longest Batman movie ever made. I'm I I don't I don't know. I just, just I'm surprised it's that long. I'm shocked as well. Really Me too. Like, I, I feel like this isn't a movie that needs to be that long. I'll yeah. take it. Like, I, I'm excited. I'll definitely inject yeah. it straight into me. Yeah. I guess like, I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I, like, honestly, I was telling my girlfriend today, I was like, I can't see how this movie could be bad. Like, I look at the trailers, look at everyone involved. I'm like, this is going to be a masterpiece. It is. I don't know. It's, it's so weird that, like, 
for me with Batman, like I don't like Catwoman. I don't like Penguin. Like on paper, I shouldn't be hyped for this movie, <laughs> but I'm so ready. Do you like Riddler? I think Riddler's okay. I mean, I don't really love the suit choice they went with here. I don't but... like the suit either, but I don't care. I'm still excited. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. That that Batman hot toy that you sent today? Woo! Yeah. Woo! Oh, it's happening. The hot toy made a made a That's nice. You saw that, Drew? No, I didn't see it. Hot, yeah, hot toys making a like a Robert Pattinson Batman. That shit looks fire. It looks really good, man. <laughs> Harper's yeah. probably gonna spend a bag on it eventually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. expensive. 100%. Oh, no, they're very expensive. Hot toys are very. Expensive. Hot toys are very I didn't realize how much they were. But they're oh, yeah. like super accurate, so that's yeah. why. Yeah, one day. Uh so at this point in the news, that we're actually gonna jump right into the solicitations. So starting with DC, JD, you want to run, run us by again? Not the full solicitations are out as of this recording, so this is just what we know going in. Which is some pretty so big the, stuff. the big, the two big things of the week. Um, first was Flashpoint Beyond got announced, which is going to be a mini series continuation of Flashpoint, Secret. written by Jeff Johns, uh, co-written by Jeff Johns. It's also going to have uh, Jeremy Adams, the current writer of the Flash, co-writing it. Mm-hmm. Um, Mitch Jarrods is going to be on covers. covers. And I forget who the interior artist is. Um, not a well, name I'm that I recognized, too. but uh, it's going to be focusing on the Thomas Wayne Batman. So and taking place after Flashpoint, so on a flashback story, right? Which now this mean? this is interesting because isn't post Flashpoint like the button? And all yeah, that? which and destroyed the universe. And doesn't Tom King's Batman like kind of you know? use thomas wayne a little differently than flashpoint did yeah like he kind of becomes more of a villain than he was a hero yeah and now yeah. right now williams so is all that him. is all that canon but right now he's a hero because williams is writing him in justice league incarnated they really oh, don't know what to do I, with him they, they don't like no they he's, he's everywhere hero, a villain it, it's like, and, and i said this to you drew it's the same thing as earth three right earth three yeah since the new 52 justice league they don't know what to do with it like mm-hmm. they won't let it live they won't let it die they just keep using it he should have just died we should have stayed and, dead and, and Thomas Wayne Batman should, you know, Wayne's We Rise. That should have been the end right there. Yeah, yeah. We should never yeah. have seen him again. Oh. I, I don't think this is necessary, but it's my favorite DC writer of all time, Jeff Johns. I mean, I got to read it. And it is Flash-ish. He said Barry's in it. He's, he's not oh. the main character, but he's going to be in it. So, so Are you guys like, reading have... uh, Incarnate? Are you guys reading Justice League Incarnate? No. I read the first issue, but I didn't read anything beyond that. It's It's all right. I mean... It, it's Williamson, and like I was telling somebody the other day, like it's going to be important probably with whatever he does next, which is you know this or I, I don't know. It's kind of it's not that great, but <laughs> you just said it was all right. Like I, I don't know. It's like <laughs> he like, thought about it more. I like, yeah, I, I like. I think it's just because I like Grant Morrison's multiversity so much that I like whenever they like touch back to that. So it's like okay, but you know, I like. I like them including flashpoint batman on the team i think that's great but it's like is he's obviously not going to stay with them so it's like what's the purpose of this series i don't know i don't get it but it's interesting to see jeff john's back because i just assumed he was done at dc like he had that little star girl special that was supposed to you know next uh, in a few months star girl number one which never happened oh yeah i forgot like, that I, kind of just, I kind of just assumed that he's done at dc like he's not going to be you know, he's going to be doing his Geiger universe and whatever spawns out of that. And that was it. So yeah. I was really shocked to see Jeff Johns is back for this. I mean, Flashpoint is his story. So I guess it makes sense. But that's a really good point. Yeah, Why is he was, back? I thought he was done. <laughs> I didn't realize uh, Geiger was originally, I think, supposed to be a DC property. Really? Because huh. I know... It would have been Black Label? Thing, like the, the Mad Ghost imprint or whatever, that was going to be DC. But then... All that stuff happened and he went to image wow that's what i found out today i was like that's weird i don't know, I know that. Hmm. hunter you gotta read geiger you're missing out <laughs> yeah. we've had this conversation many many times yeah we have <laughs> uh what else is there for DC? um the death of the justice league speaking of williamson mm-hmm. the death of the justice league in justice league number 75 and the 30th anniversary of the death of superman which happened in superman number 75 uh we're getting the Death of the Justice League, written by Joshua Williamson. So, Bendis' Justice League, remember when that was a promising time and Hunter guaranteed that it would be a great title because First Bendis, knows how to write, Bendis knows how to write teams. Remember when, remember when Hunter was, was like, good. yeah, he got, he got me and Drew to read it. And he's like, it's going to yeah. be great. Yeah. He made me read the first arc. I did. Oh, my 
Hey, and first just, arc was good. First arc was good. It was all right. Yeah, it, it was okay. But Art was good. <laughs> it was yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, David yeah. Marquez can make anything look good. But uh, yeah, that Justice League is dying now. Uh, Josh yeah. Williamson is going to be writing the Death of the Justice League coming in uh, April 2022. Uh, we don't really know that much, but as it's far as one we can shot. tell, yeah, as far as we can tell, it's like the end of the Justice League title, and these characters are dying. Yeah. Except for one. Yeah, oh yeah. So so the team is Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, <laughs> Green Arrow, Black Canary, Zatanna, uh, Black Green Adam. Lantern being John Jones. Not Black Adam. Uh, oh, I thought Black Adam was on the cover. He, he's on one of the variants, but he's not involved with this team. Uh, I don't know if I said Aquaman or not. Aquaman, Aquaman and yeah. Martian Manhunter. Now, what's interesting about this is Wonder Woman just had like an arc where she died in her own solo series, right? Yeah. And, and now she's dying again. Aquaman, didn't he just die recently too? He died like two years ago, yeah. So He died? Yep. Well, well I mean, knew about it, but, died. he yeah. died in he died in Snyder's Justice League. Oh, right, 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 right. So oh, it's yeah. totally skipped over that. <laughs> in the flood arc. Good. Yeah. But but anyway, so it's it's kind of interesting that we're gonna kill the Justice League now. Like yeah, dead dead. Like again, if you're man. a Wonder Woman fan, right? She like just came back and it's like, ah, bye, Diana. Yeah, now she's gone. Oh, well, there's gonna be one survivor. It's probably gonna be Batman. <laughs> Oh, good God. <laughs> it's probably going to be Batman. I mean, they just announced a Batman like, crossover called uh, Shadow, say, War. Shadow, Shadow, Shadow War. Shadow War. So, oh, it has to be Batman then. It, yeah. Oh, Hunter, man. Hunter made an ill conceived bet yeah, with Harper for $100 mm-hmm. that, I members of, that the members of the Just League who die would not stay dead. Not including the one survivor. Not, not Yeah, but the members who actually die will stay dead until. The end of 2022. Mm-hmm. What a dumb bet. <laughs> now, I, now, I made this bet simply because William said that he's writing an issue of Robin that's releasing in July and the League are still dead. So I'm like, okay. I mean, he's kind of the one in charge of this since he's the one writing it. So if he's kind of being real confident tweeting out like, yep, they're still dead in the summertime, I feel like he's going to commit to keeping them dead until, I don't know. I, I was I was talking to Drew about this earlier, and you know I, I've always said for a while that I would love like a legacy imprint where it's kind of just like, you know, you get rid of the like the main heroes and all the legacies take over, and you kind of see how that world mm-hmm. shapes. You know, Dick, Wally, Donna, they're like they're the new Trinity, and then you know, like how how does the rest of the universe like shape that? The Teen Titans become the Titans, Young Justice becomes the Teen Titans. You know what I mean? Like everyone moves up. Oh this yeah, this has the opportunity to do that. It does. I just don't think yeah. it will. Yeah, it, I bet you they'll try it. They'll probably start to, you know, make this new team. I think some characters will. I think, well, Jackson Hyde has confirmed that he's going to be coming Aquaman in March. So Aqualad will be Aquaman, and that'll be... So like, Aquaman's you know, one of our dead people, confirmed. Yeah, 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 essentially. He's he's not coming back, unfortunately. If you're a Green Arrow fan, I feel so bad for you. Oh, my God, Green Arrow yeah, fans got tough. You just got tough. You just went through Roy Harper dead for, like, two years, and now you're going through both Dinah and Oliver. Like... <laughs> That sucks. Is uh, anyone still even reading Justice League? Like, I feel like I don't hear anything anymore. Like this was that, like the that, first that's called I've the uh, Bendis effect. Yeah, for DC. Yeah, no. It's it's not. so it's so sad because I've been DC so bad. Why? I've been binging Bendis Daredevil, and it's so great. And then you like look at him now, and you're just like, how is this the same guy? Mm-hmm. Years have passed. He's with DC now, and. He keeps... Do you think he's just like past his prime, or do you think he just doesn't yes, understand DC prime. characters? He's past no, his prime. No, because he's past but... his prime because his Marvel at the end got shot too. Civil War two, you yeah, know, Civil like, War two. You know, <laughs> what what was like his Iron last? Was very thing? unpopular. What was his last good thing? Uh, was it his Iron Man? Was his X Men good? I mean, yeah, I liked his X Men. I think it might have been. That was like two thousand. No, nah, I think he. I think he's written twelve. I mean, oh god, our Marvel novel. Oh, uh, again, but... probably Miles Morales, because that was 2015 when he stopped doing that. Right, that's probably it then. Probably Ultimate Spider-Man, Miles Morales, because that's great and it ends really good too. It has a really, really big ending. So, so in, 20, in 2018, he was writing Defenders, Jessica Jones, Invincible Iron Man. Oh, here's Jessica his, Jones is good. I remember his Invincible Iron Man being very unpopular towards the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. 
I'm gonna look it hasn't up what been his last that Marvel long. Is. His problem with DC is he keeps leaving projects. Yeah, he'll start something yeah. and then leave it. What happened to that Wonder Comics imprint? Mm -hmm. That just disappeared. Remember when he said that he had huge <laughs> plans for Superman for the next few years, and then one month later he dropped Superman? No. And his reasoning was because he was going to Justice League. And now he's not doing Justice League. <laughs> Remember when him and Patrick Gleason were like, Young Justice is going to be a main forefront in the DC universe? And then Pat yeah. Gleason left after like the second issue. It was four issues. He was on four, the fourth, fourth issue. issue. Uh, I yeah. mean, we got Patrick Gleason's Spider Man out of it, so it's worth it. But like, ah, oh, man, the heartbreak. Yeah. And then He's Young Justice was now. like, was like going through the multiverse for 10 issues. And I was like, okay. Going through the multiverse for 15 issues. 15, oh, good. I, I dropped up to 10. Yeah. It, it was is, boring. Isn't Gleason like writing Spider Man too? Like, He's a co writer. He He's he's yeah, a co-writer, he, but there's also like four other people writing. Is that is Spider-Man even good right now? It's I feel like it's it, not bad. I will say it's not bad. Yeah, but I know it has like a rotating creative team. It of, does, like, yeah. So it's like mostly a different artist on every book. And, it's, it's just uh, it's just yeah. interesting this this Bendis effect that has you know taken place on it every book leaving. that he's been on. Yeah, you got to commit to something, man. And I think he's finally going to commit to his current project, which isn't what isn't a comic he's doing the legion of superheroes tv show right he's also isn't he also writing wasn't when this announced a while out? ago legion of superheroes versus justice league yeah like i think happening yeah. right now oh that's happening right but, now i think issue one just came out Wait, recently there's there's a show is that what you said yeah there's, there's, there's gonna be a legion show. superhero show and ben this is the one who's like co-writing it is it cw uh, i think i could be wrong i think it's animated oh, oh okay that, I think it's going good. to I think it's going to HBO Max. I could be wrong about that. It's that probably CW. <laughs> and people are ben, like, oh, you're ben, 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 this is someone who's had like so many iconic runs, and it's kind of sad to see someone go past their prime, but mm -hmm. it just is, you know. It is if what he, it is. Okay. It's past prime. Bendis wants to write one more ongoing for DC. He wants to write, let's say, 45 issues, 50 issues. Don't what write, do you put him on? Flash. <laughs> please, anything, with, flash. anything with flash. <laughs> what would please. you put him on if you had to pick for DC? Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> I would do. I don't think there's a clear cut answer. I like his Harley Daredevil. Quinn. No one reads that. So yeah, yeah, I love his Daredevil. I right put him on. Spider Man is great. I put him on Red Hood. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. Somewhere Sean Hood. Griffin. Somewhere <laughs> yeah. Sean Griffin just had heart palpitation. He doesn't know why. Could you imagine if he did Red Hood and it was a hit? Like best, yeah. best run. I, I mean, know. yeah. What, what competition does he have on Red Hood? Yeah, exactly. That's the right? thing. So, there, like, when you're writing Superman or Batman, right? There's a lot of competition. There's been a lot of great stories. Justice League. There's been a lot of great stories. When you're writing Red Hood, you're competing against one story. Essentially, I mean, that the anime Zidar movie's better than the story anyway. Zdarsky oh. did uh, Cheer. Yeah, Cheer. That's a great Red Hood story, but not many people read it, unfortunately. I actually, I saw, I went to a bookstore this weekend and I saw like the trade of like just the Zdarsky Urban Legends. Oh, story. I'd recommend it. I was I'd like, I was tempted, I was, but it was hardcover. I don't like hardcover. It's very, very good. Oh, hard, hardcover for like six issues? That's what I'm saying. DC okay. does that That's recently. Weird. I don't like hardcover. DC either. was doing that with their flash trades, weren't they, Drew? Like making random hardcovers? Yeah. I don't know. They don't even have, they don't even have volume numbers anymore. Yeah. Oh, so on, like, I on, like, hate the that. back. So like my shelf is all fucked up now. It's yeah. like, Hard, it's like random hard covers. Then it goes back to paperback and the paper yeah. shit. DC's gone through it. But hey, yeah. Nightwing's great. Yeah, Nightwing's great. <laughs> the ba Batman's pretty that. good. I, I, anyway, I, anyway, Death of the Justice League, right? This is where oh, this yeah. conversation stem for. Hunter says, says they're staying dead. I say no fucking way in hell. Drew, where do you weigh? I'm saying staying dead until January. Um, not a chance at all. I, no, they're not going to stay dead. Honestly, I don't like this at all. I really don't. And I, JD, I was telling you about this earlier. It's like they're trying to pay homage to, you know, 30 years since the uh, death of Superman. But that was back when, you know, when a character stayed dead, you believed it. Like they were dead. They were gone. So like it had so much weight to it. Now it, it's like. Even though Superman stayed dead nothing. for like a month, you know, people thought that he was going to stay dead like forever. I mean, there were lines at comic book stores of people thinking like that issue was going to pay for their kids tuition one day. They were like, this is going to be the last time Superman ever appears in comics. Fucking Kevin Smith who like actually kind of knows comics said he bought like a hundred copies thinking like that that was the last oh. time superman would ever genuinely appear so there was like a you know a thing it made the, the news like the real life yeah. news. so did death so of captain america genuinely thought superman was gonna die and that was like 2006 when cap died 
Right. So like there was actually some weight to that, even though it didn't end up staying dead. It was three I, I, just, months, I don't I see think. that. I just don't see that happening here. No, yeah, no, they're not going to stay know. dead. I, but I'm saying, I, I, you think they can make it to January? I just think no way. I They'll mean, be in like I hope you're right. Or something. Oh, I want you to be right. Yeah. I'm surprised Alfred's not alive now again. Like, yeah, I'm that's true. He's been dead, he's for a while. dead he's longer been than dead. I expected. Yeah. He's still well, he dead. Came back, he came back as a zombie. Do you remember that? Like, yeah, Joker War. Yeah, he came back as a zombie and it was so, I don't know. Joker War, but like he he still was dead. Essentially. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I'm shocked. It's been like two, two years. Three years. Wasn't it 20, yeah. honestly, 2019? Oh, that gives me hope. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, we're comparing Alfred to Superman, but <laughs> that, gives, that gives me a bit of hope. So. The, the, the problem is, and I saw someone uh, post this on their story, is that what do you do with the current titles, right? So if you keep Batman alive, I guess fine, that, that makes up for it. But like, Wonder Woman just returned from the dead, right? She's got her own like event going on, right? Don't don't they have like some big Amazon? Trial of the on? Amazon, I think, starts. Superman's on right War away. World. Williamson is doing Batman himself, you know, like John. And he's not is, in Gotham. Is isn't John like the star of the Green Lantern series yep. by Jeffrey yeah. uh, yep. Thorne? So like these aren't characters that are like not really appearing in other things. Like they're all big things in other titles. Are you just gonna put them on pause? Aquaman gets relaunched in two weeks. <laughs> That's not, like what do you how could they stay dead i just i don't get it i think they'll, they'll be dead for a bit but they'll, they'll come back i think we'll, i think we'll you're gonna be losing a hundred dollars when do you think they'll come back I, I i just don't think that they're gonna leave oh yeah, really I think they're still gonna be alive in other books i feel like yeah. it's just gonna affect justice league yeah but justice league is ending here right and i think it's gonna but i feel like it's gonna like... it's gonna spin off into something else i think yeah I don't know. yeah exactly I, I think i think just like too much of a cash cow for dc to kind of just let go of i'm sure mm-hmm. they'd love a new number one maybe, maybe it'll be like maybe it'll be like in the 80s like when they had like the different justice league team yeah you know, jli yeah. like that like maybe they'll do something like I that like where that. i would really like that it, it'll spawn out a different team where it's like dick grayson and wally because they don't have a titans title right now right so give me the Titans, but all in the Justice League, and give me some other characters like, I don't know, maybe, maybe like Hal, Hal Jordan, right? He's still going to be alive. Maybe he's going to be leading a new era of the Justice League. Hal Jordan's League. alive. Every speedster's alive. No speedster is getting right. So, so like you know, imagine a team that's like Hal, Barry, Wally, Dick Grayson, Donna Troy. I don't know, like mm. Two speedsters John, would be John cool. Sup- John Superman, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, honestly, just Kyle Rayner, please. <laughs> just give us a Titan series again, like that Rebirth Titan series. Like, I was so bummed when that got canceled. Like, just yeah, it got so shitty though. Just yeah, read Nightwing. It, it, it killed me. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You oh, probably yeah, read Nightwing. That. Yeah, that, that, that was a Titan series. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. oh god, I can't wait to. That made me. About. That made me miss that. I don't know. I remember when Kyle Rayner joined. I stopped reading that completely. Oh, god, so I don't nice. know why. I was just like, eh. Steele's niece? Yeah. yeah. It, it wasn't Kyle that broke the book. No. Yeah. yeah. I just remember when he joined, I was out. It was kind of out of place for him, though. Like, he just fought in this massive war in Hell Jordan the Green Lantern Corps, and now it's, hey, I'm joining these teenagers on Earth for, the, for a hey, single Hey, Steele's city. niece seems like a cool chick. I'll hang out with her. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go hang out there. So it's like, okay. A little odd. Is that it for DC, or...? Uh, those are the two big ones, and then Batman's getting an event called uh, Shadow War, which is yeah, that was that was basically gonna be all ago. the Williamson titles: Deathstroke, Robin, Batman. Mm-hmm. Are you guys reading Deathstroke? No. no, I haven't heard good things about it. I heard it's not that good. I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard. Yeah, I haven't heard one word about it. Yeah, my my shop. I know Black and Airy fans aren't happy, but yeah, are they? Shop owner doesn't like it. All right, let's uh, let's go through Marvel real quick. Uh, oh boy. So for Marvel, uh, just this is our first reaction to it. And, uh, JD and I haven't read this. I don't know if you have, Drew. Uh, yeah, I've but... looked at them. Okay, so this is our first reaction. We're just scrolling through right now. Amazing Spider-Man is getting a brand new creative team. Zeb Wells is the writer, and John Romita Jr. is returning as the artist for the run. I wonder uh, how long JRJR is going to stay on for. I can't imagine that long. I'm going to say till issue 11. Yeah, probably like the first <laughs> two or three arcs. I don't think That's... it's going to be a while. That's that's I don't know I I just think he's like too big of a like a name to stay on a monthly book. That being said, it's Spider Man. That is true, and, and I and this I've always me. said that even though I don't love his artwork, his Spider Man is definitely his best work. He knows how to draw right. Spider Man for sure. His Daredevil's pretty good too, but yeah. Spider Man is his best stuff. Uh, so the <clears throat> the thing the solicitation says, Peter's on the outs with the Fantastic Four. I think that's Fantastic Four. Just says FF. 
He's on the outs with the Avengers. He's on the outs with Aunt May. No one wants to see Spider-Man except for Dr. Octopus. Ox on Spider-Man's tail and the master planner has something truly terrible planned for when he gets his tentacles on Spidey. All that and what does Tombstone have planned? Just in time for Spider-Man's 60th anniversary, a new volume of Amazing Spider-Man begins 2022. Uh, this is going to be the biggest year for Spider-Man ever. Don't believe Doubt. us? We brought Doubt. John Robita Jr. back. Doubt. Okay. Our, <laughs> you see the variant cover with him and uh, MJ like walking away from him? They're going to break yeah. them up? I hate after, that. After, after fucking, what's his name? Uh, who, who was the last writer of Spider-Man? Spencer. Nick, didn't like Nick Spencer just try to do everything to get that marriage back, and now it's just going to be, all right. I away. hope not. I really hope not. Please just be yeah. like a tease or something, please. <laughs> But yeah, uh, story doesn't intrigue me right now, but we'll have to wait and see. You're going to read it or not? I'll read it, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to check it out, I think, too. I haven't dropped Spider-Man, so it's, it's still on my poll. So. What about uh, Captain America, the two Cap titles? I know Hunter's hyped. Uh, well, uh, it's not necessarily that I'm hyped. I don't know if I'll pick it up. Oh, I've yeah, been broke I don't think before. I'm going to pick him up. I, I thought from your post you were hyped. I'm excited that he's finally getting one. It's weird. We haven't had a Captain America title in a year. I find that very Since odd. Ta-Nehisi Coates run. Yeah, we've had mini series, United States yeah. of Captain America and Captain America and Iron Man, but now, now we're getting two two different titles, one for Sam, one for Steve. Mm-hmm. And I believe the Sam one's cool, going to yeah. be called Sentinel of Liberty, right? Yeah. No, it's the other, it's the other way around. I think it's the other way around. The Sam one is called Sentinel of Liberty. No, I think that's the one for Steve. Isn't that what I said? Steve wanted Sentinel of Liberty. I have it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the Steve one is Sentinel of Liberty because that was like what Mark Wade's Captain America was back in the 90s, but it was all flashback stories. Yeah. Steve's is Sentinel of Liberty. Sam's is Symbol of Truth. Yeah. 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 I wonder if I wonder if it's going to be all flashback stories though, because that's what Sentinel of Liberty was in the 90s. I doubt it. Well, they said uh, Steve's is going to be focusing on him looking at America today and dealing with the problems of America today and being like, we we still have to fight for this. There's still something here. And then Sam's is about him leaving America and becoming a Captain America worldwide. He's going to be traveling around the world and it's described as a spy thriller. And he's going to be meeting other superheroes in the Marvel Universe out in the world and villains. So like Doctor Doom or Black Panther, characters like that. So uh, they both sound good. They both sound interesting. I'm just reading too much at the moment. (laughs) I don't think I'd read Damn, either one, yeah. to be honest. Like, I, I'm, I'm a full-time student, man. So, like, man, what if I were to read one of these, I'd have to drop one of my current books. So, I don't know if... As someone who's barely reading any titles right now, and is not a full-time student, I still won't be reading them. I, I don't know. With Marvel Unlimited, the great thing about Marvel Unlimited... Yes. If, if you really want to check out a book, just wait three months. It'll be on there. Essentially, yep. yeah. So, maybe I'll do that, and then I'll decide from there. But I don't know. Right now, the the Sam story has me intrigued. I really like the idea of traveling around the world. So we'll see. Uh, I guess um. So there there was a crossover between Hulk and Thor called Banner of War. Uh, I guess it's its own title. It's not just the Thor and Hulk books. Oh really? But yeah, it's just called uh, Hulk versus Thor: Banner oh. of War. And yeah, because uh, because Donny Cates writes both titles, so it's I think this is a one shot, and then it gets continued in both. Uh, titles after oh, okay so, guess, seen the thor 25 and hulk number seven it's a yeah okay makes sense so the description says hulk and thor have undergone a massive change recently and one thing remains consistent their heavy rivalry when mysterious circumstances bring them into a conflict once more will the god of thunder be able to triumph against bruce banner who can now control his rage oh i said that really strangely that was a question <laughs> Celebrating the 16th anniversary of both characters, this epic five-part crossover between Thor and Hulk series starts in this oversized alpha issue brought to you by creators Donny Cates and Martin Kukulo. Key mysteries from both series will be revealed as well as shocking consequences for both characters. And it's Donny Cates, so I believe that. <laughs> he, yeah. he, tends to, he tends to beat up characters and brings new things to them. So I read both titles. I'm looking forward to it. Same. I know you do yeah. too, so. Yeah. Are you enjoying Hulk? We haven't really talked about this. I am enjoying I, Hulk. I know like hardcore Hulk fans don't really like it, but I don't know. I, I always say with Donny Cates, you have to wait like the first you six no issues. No idea what's happening right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to give it like six issues, then you can decide whether it's really good. JD, yeah. I'm JD, you got to read his Venom. 
I'm surprised. I'm really surprised I, you haven't. I, I've been I've been hearing this for a while. He's been I hearing just, this for two years. Yeah, Hunter's been harassing me since he read it. Yeah. I don't know. Venom is just I, not my guy. I just Venom? read it like a month or two ago. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm not I'm not like Hunter, the biggest Venom fan in the world, as <laughs> photo evidence would prove that he really oh, no. Venom. <laughs> you brought See, that if up. You're not listening, if you're not watching on YouTube, that's, this is worth that's looking on too. YouTube for because this is the greatest picture. <laughs> this should be the thumbnail, to be honest. I, I think yeah. we will make the yeah. thumbnail. I don't we have any thumbnail. like pull on this, but I'm gonna make this the thumbnail. <laughs> you, okay, go for it. <laughs> I don't know how to make a thumbnail, but I'll I'll figure it out. Are you still okay. reading that the new series, Hunter? Um, the, like Venom? Yeah, yeah, the new Venom series. No. no. Yeah. Why, why do you think? It, why do you think it made him make this face? <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, uh, okay, that was the day that I that I went to a um. So I spent the day reading Venom. I guess as you could clearly tell. No, I was just wearing that sweater and I was I was sorting through comics and I was like, oh look, I, I got venom. So that night I I went to a not not a fancy restaurant, but a restaurant. A more uppity restaurant. Yeah, a restaurant you would dress up for. No, nothing really good. like the meal there instead of being a restaurant like a, you wouldn't wear a t-shirt to that has yeah, venom on it. Like like a meal would be like $25 there. And I, I wore that sweater because <laughs> I forgot to change. And, and I didn't realize it until I got there and I took my coat off and looked around. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so Hunter's, a, Hunter's that Venom guy. He, I was, that, I was guy that guy. Who, who blasts yeah. Eminem Venom. Everyone's in, in dress right pants. And, and like, I was, I was in a Venom shirt. I'm like, man, the, the waiter's going to come over and ask my thoughts on let there be carnage. <laughs> like, I, I can't do this, man. Father? Oh, yeah. shit. <sighs> Electra's getting a hundredth issue, which I think we mentioned already. Um, That's kind of crazy. And and Nascenti's writing it, which is she hasn't written Marvel, so she wrote like up to like the nineties, and then she did. She's done like a few anniversary issues here and there. Like I think she had a story in Daredevil five hundred, mm-hmm. but she has not been much like in Marvel lately. So that that surprised me that she's writing this. Yeah, yeah, it is odd. Uh, Moon Knight is joining characters like Elektra and Deadpool and Carnage by getting a Black, White, and Blood comic. For those who don't know, that is a comic that Marvel's been doing where the entire book will be only Black, White, and Red. Uh, it's an anthology series. One of the writers is Jonathan Hickman, and it's going to be four issues. So I'll, yep. I might actually get this. I've been enjoying their Black, White. I, I read their Carnage, Black, White, and Red, and I, I have their Elektra one, but I actually haven't opened it yet. But I kind of wish it was just like a Moon Knight series. Like there is a Moon Knight series. There is one going on right now. Bro, yeah, there, the, there's Je- like nine Jen issues. McKay. Wow, I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, it's probably, it's probably already got like six issues on Marvel Unlimited. Their Jeez. issue eight or nine is out like to or yesterday, but this week. Yeah, I had, I had no idea that was even out. Oh, okay. Well, so I was like thinking about it. I was like, I, I was like, oh, you know, there's a Moon Knight series coming out, and then uh, there's no title but then yeah there is a title there's been a title for like six months <laughs> are you reading that or no i read the first few issues and i was like yeah it's pretty good i'm not the biggest yeah. moon knight guy so yeah you know you know i, I see something on on the solicitations that's bound to get drew happy x-men 92 right drew oh uh, i'm not gonna be reading that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> i don't okay. like those titles i don't like i those. mean it's basically like what if house happened in the 90s it's- it's House and Powers, but it was 92. It's so... Like, I, I don't understand the concept. Like, it's just... It's the same story. Yeah. Just but, with 90s style? Yeah, I don't know. They, they it, It's weird because, like, they have, like, their... The 90s animated series, like, fans, and they think they're going to keep getting people back into comics if they just keep doing the series like that. I don't understand it. It's, it's very weird. odd to me. Like, it's the same story, just with the 90s animated design. Very yeah, yeah. They're they're the X office is just ruining everything. It, it looks so. cool. Don't get me wrong, but like it's the same story. Yeah, it, I don't. Yeah, there we nope. go. Yeah, uh, I scrolled down a little bit. Um, Spider Punk is getting a series, a mini series. Oh, good. God. Listen, I'll always give it a Marvel. They give yeah. anybody a series. They, they literally will. Cody Ziegler on writing and Justin Mason on art. Uh, so five issues. 
Um, Silk is an ongoing. I thought I thought that was a miniseries, but no, it's an ongoing. D- did you see the what if Miles Morales solicitation? Yeah, what it's if Miles, Miles Mor- with the Wolverine claws? Oh, good god! Honestly, pretty good design. What? It looks cool, but like that's so stupid. Yeah, I mean, it's all I need to look this up. Yeah, what oh, I'll send you a picture Morales. of it, Drew. Um, let's see. Miles Morales has looks really good right now. Like the current title. He's talking yeah. to Beyonders about the Ultimate Universe and how it's dead. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot you're an Ultimate guy now yeah. that you did your whole bench. Yeah. Now that you're the expert in Hickman. Yep. Sorry, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> he just like bit down on something. <laughs> uh, Avengers of I Jason Aaron still happening, I see. Oh, awesome. Iron Fist uh, is still happening. Nice. <laughs> I'm just trying to find things. <laughs> I think we basically reached what we need of the Marvel solicitations. Oh, Eternals number 11 is going to set up Judgment Day, which is Marvel's 2022 event. We don't know much on it, but it's just going to start to set it up. You guys got to uh, talk about more X-Men. I don't First, we'd have it. to read X-Men. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys, this podcast lacks X-Men content. It does like X-Men content, but that's okay. Listen, yeah, yeah, just, right. wait for, just wait for Hunter to declare that he's going to read every X-Men issue of the modern age. Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's not, it's happen not one gonna day. Happen. The declaration will happen, but that... I, I think Hunter should have like a dartboard, right? Of like a bunch of characters' names written, and he should blindfold, throw a dart, and whatever it lands on, he has to read every modern issue. Well, that, that's what I did. There's like the the Instagram filter that chooses a random Marvel character. <laughs> I did that, and to Iron Harper, Man? Harper, JD, and Tyler, and just like, all right, whoever lands on, I'm gonna read everything. It was Iron Man. And, and I Harper decided was not, like, don't you dare. Harper said he was going to hang himself if I did that. Because so, <laughs> he's, he's the Iron Man guy. So I'm like, all right, you know what? I like you, man. I want you to live. Uh, what was the second one you got? Mr. Fantastic, right? Uh, Yeah, it was. Mr. Fantastic. But you've already read a lot of I don't want to read Golden Age Fantastic. <laughs> like, I, I don't think I could do it. But yeah, that seems to be Jack the gist Kirby, of baby. it. Um, yeah that's that's about it for for marvel i mean there's still other books there's a lot of other books that we didn't mention but those are like the ones that caught our eyes and mortal yeah. x-men now uh that. let's talk about um nightwing the one of the best comics oh nightwing what a beautiful i literally issue. just read it i just it's read it and uh oh so good it's good it's so good i got the very <laughs> what is it that's like, let me see that, that is a great what? variant actually i do like let that see it. a lot that that's a uh, jorge jimenez isn't it no, oh, that is a pretty good version. No, that yeah, looks like his style. No, nope. you sure? It's, yeah, it's not. I'll find the credits. It says the name uh, on the barcode. It does. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, variant cover Jamal Campbell. Oh. Oh okay. I'm sure it's Campbell, but <laughs> well, Bell. <laughs> not a very complicated last name. Whatever, whatever. Uh, did you guys know the Titans were going to be in this? I had no, no idea. I didn't either. So when he flipped that page and Starfire was right there, I was like, "Whoa, okay." When when Wally showed up, I was like, "Whoa!" I'm yeah, glad you didn't get that. I know they're I know they're crossing over in uh, 1991. So this was this was a good surprise. So yeah, that's still, yep. this is issue 88. So that's still a ways yeah, away. Ne- next issue is going to be the crossover with Superman, Son of Kal El, mm-hmm. the two part crossover, and then and then with Flash. So hype! Dang, yeah, you they, spoiled uh, Wally showing up, JD. I had well, no I, had, I had to get you to read it because you hadn't read it yet. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, yeah. Drew, sure, Drew is a madman and he's like, oh, I'll get Taylor Nightwing, but I won't read it first. Uh, read it first. It was the, no, it's was, the first hey, thing I read every week. First this thing is I read. The best hey, comic had, coming out right now. I had right. to read my X Men comics. I had to read Oh, uh, my God. X Lives of Wolverine. Uh, which was, spoiler which was spoiler good. alert. Nothing, nothing is going to go back to the status quo anyway. Drew, X Men isn't real. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly, I'll honestly. X Men is terrible right now. There's like oh, maybe one good title. What? I thought one good title right now. Ever good things? They're on Mars well, now, though, aren't they? <laughs> who cares? Like yeah, it's they not claim good. Mars for themselves. They claimed it, but like I don't know. There, there was a recent X Men issue. Spoilers. Their uh, Cyclops is dead now to the public, <laughs> so uh, he's Captain Krakoa now. And uh, yeah, Wolverine's been stagnant for years. He, they should just kill him off again because they're not doing anything with him. That's all I got to say. But you know, you know who won't give you this pain? Nightwing by Tom Night, Taylor. Yeah, Nightwing by Tom yeah. Taylor and Bruno <laughs> Redondo. God God bless. They, Th- this issue was really good. I love Babs and, and Dick's. Uh, Bab, Babs and Dick's. Dick and Babs' uh, like whole 
you know, back and forth here. It's just, it's so good. Like the way they talk, the way she, the way she says, like, she's going to show up and he's like, no, I don't want you to show up. And she's like, well, Bitewing or Haley says that we're showing up. So yeah. we're showing up. Just kind of teasing him. Oh yeah. It's great. Like they just have a great back and forth. They have a great, like they challenge each other. It's, it's best comic cup. So when this preview came out and you see uh, Barbara talking to someone over the computer, but say, oh, Dick doesn't know. I haven't told him this. That was a preview originally. And yep. people were sending Tom Taylor like death threats, that, thinking that she was like cheating on Dick, or like she was with another man. What? And then turns I didn't out hear about that. But, yeah, like Tom Taylor was getting so much hate from people just on Twitter. Wow. Apparently. Just on Twitter, and then it turns out no, she's talking to like Starfire. <laughs> like, calm yeah. down. So actually, it's... kind of interesting that she's talking to Starfire, right? Because they're the two like you know. Yeah, rivals of Dick's life. Mm-hmm. Well, romantic rivals, but then it. <sighs> I like when Bruno does this stuff here, where it's like it's like one panel so almost, but it, he oh, breaks yeah. it up so then they're able to travel. It's so good. This was one of the best issues. To talk oh, about. The, the, someone said this is an early contender for issue of the year. I mean, obviously it's only January, but uh, big fan of this issue. I, lo- I love this panel where he's flying in with breakfast. Like it's simple, yeah. but like it just it works. And, and she's smiling at him. Yeah, and, and yeah, Haley's barking. Like oh, it's it's so good. Like um, when, even when uh, you see like you see the original Titan, well not the original, you see Donna, Starfire, Beast Boy, uh, Raven, and then you get the sniper shooting at Dick. I didn't expect Wally for some reason, just because he's like he's got his own title. All these characters, right? Don't. And then he appears, and I'm so glad they they had him appear, and he was the one that talked to Dick the most here. To right, get and 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 you could tell Tom Taylor pays attention to other titles because uh, when Wally had him get the new suit, it was from Mister Terrific, who's been a big part of the Flash, Flash. title. Mm-hmm. so that that was like a nice connection that i'm like what, is dc actually doing continuity right now <laughs> that isn't a williamson book also this yeah, panel right? th- tell me this panel is not teen titans animated series like all over yeah, right totally, totally, yeah. totally. that's boy, all i thought of beast boy did that all the time <laughs> yeah that's I like all them. i could think of. i was like i was like tom taylor must have been watching some teen titans or something yeah get inspired for this this was I my like favorite page he, i think uh, helped with the suit oh so that good and Br- bruno redondo man he he, he killed it. He's killing great it. in that suit because so people I, have always been kind of iffy about the Flash 2009 Rebirth suit. Yeah, the nose piece. It's it's a little right. awkward, but he made it look good. He did make it look really good. This made me like really like personally. I don't like the nose piece for this suit, but I didn't have an issue of like this looks fantastic. And then yeah, so you get that last panel. that last. This, this made me stand. like why why don't we have a Titans title? This is so good. Oh god. We have Teen Titans Academy. <laughs> no, no. Like I, I'm not, I'm I not reading, so I'm not reading no a Griffin reading special, that. okay? No, but yeah, no Sean Griffin special. Only Sean That's reads right. that title. Like I, I was smiling more and more on every page. Like you see Starfire and Donna, and then Cyborg shows up, and I was I was happy to see him again. We haven't seen him in forever. And then Starfire, Starfire going toe to toe with Blockbuster, not even like flinch. <laughs> Great. Yeah, she calls him Blockbuster too. So oh, she calls so, him uh, Roland, his first name. Yeah, she yeah. calls him by his first name, Roland. Yeah. Ugh. And then Heartless at the end, a little... Uh, uh, Heartless is interesting. I want to see more of Heartless. Yeah, so, we don't know much of him. I still think it's going to be the person from uh, Robin Year One, the the one that uh, he killed the mentor, Shriek. But oh, really? I don't know. I yeah, was thinking I, this th- was just an original character. For some reason, I... Because I, like, I think in the first issue that, that Heartless is in... Um, there's something like we have personal history with Dick Grayson or something like like some something along that lines of like like Dick Grayson took something from me, mm-hmm. so and now I need to take his heart. Like I think I think it's gonna be someone from the Dixon series, and that's why I, I thought it was gonna be Shriek. But it's gonna be Raptor. <laughs> oh, good God, he's gonna Raptor. Didn't Raptor die in in Robin? No, he's alive. He's, he's oh. still alive. Yeah. I, I thought he got booted off the island. I thought he did not get the last marshmallow, and he uh, had to watch. Uh, Doc Shane and the Boat of Losers. Well, yeah, I understood that reference. It's a very odd reference. <laughs> okay. Total Trauma Island was the best. Yeah. Uh, yeah that no, was no. Uh, Danny had started like a like a riot with the people who uh, had life left, and he was a part of that. Ra- I was looking for him too. I'm like, is he still? Oh, there he is in the very <laughs> corner of a background. There is one Raptor fan in the world, and it's you. Yeah. I, I like There's two Raptor fans. You and Tim Seeley. Hey, he's cool, man. Like he works. I like him. Raptor. I, I yeah. mean. I think there's better characters, but I don't mind Raptor. There's definitely better characters, but his powers uh, is he doesn't feel pain, which is <laughs> awful. Uh, D- Dick carrying, I'm sorry, Wally carrying Dick on his back was great because 
I, I love when Batman and Flash do that. Like they've done that so many times. Yeah. Um, the one that I always think of is uh, the back on track story by Wade. You remember that one, Drew, where mm -hmm. uh, Nightwing's in like his like 90s suit and uh, he, he carries him like that as well. Like when they go to the yeah. final battle because Starfire can fly and Dick can. <laughs> yeah. He even says cradle or piggyback. <laughs> <laughs> they both are undignified. <laughs> It, it, it's good. It's good. JD, which it's, one do you pick? Ten. Cradle or piggyback? Oh, pig, piggyback all the way. <laughs> I do piggyback, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably say the same. But yeah, I give it 10 out of 10. And the finger stripes are back. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Is that is this directly the old suit, or is there any new things on it? Uh, did you see the 1 and 25 variant where uh, you could see Bruno Redondo's like, designs and like he, yeah. it has like his notes? So they added like like you could see the blue on the sole of the shoes and yeah little like minor things, but it's mostly the finger stripes. And I guess the the mask is still blue, which I like. Right. I'm glad they're keeping that. Right, but this is what people wanted. People wanted mm -hmm. the finger stripes since they went away. It's mm -hmm. the best. It's the best suit for Nightwing. So it's and this is this is a great way to bring it back. Like I mean, you could have just brought it straight back, but like you kind of built to it too. Is that this the, is yeah. Taylor's eleventh issue, I want to say, because he started on seventy eight. Was it 78? That was 76. I thought he started on 78. I think he's around 11 issues. Around 11 issues, he's fucking killing it. It's still great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's... We're, we're coming up on, I think, a year. I think he started in March of 2021. Oh, wow. Yeah, we are almost a year. It's kind of crazy that it feels like it just started. But Yeah. I mean, there's some, there's some Batman tie-ins, which were okay, but now that yeah. he's back in yeah, Blood the, Haven, the Fear State stuff was like probably the weakest of the run, but... You know, the stuff that's actually been about Nightwing, you know, Babs, it's been great. And mm -hmm. building up to Heartless has been really good. I'm really curious to see where it goes. And I can imagine the series is going to read very well, like, when you put all the issues together. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, that Fear State tie-in was useless. I remember out, out before I read it, I asked Derek. I was like, should I, is this worth reading? Like, is it important? He's like, yeah, it's pretty important. I read it, and I was like, I'm not going to lie. It's not important at all. <laughs> Drew, your, your mic's a little quiet. Just to let you know. I hear you, but but you're very, very quiet. I don't know if uh, the audience can hear you. Oh, all right. I'll figure that out. Okay. Um, Fear, Fear State was just such a mistake, yeah. I think. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man, I'll just say, was, was, I mean, it's not bad. The cover is pretty is back terrifying. To, is it back to Peter or is it still Ben? It's still Ben. Peter comes back in a month. Oh, okay. One more month of Ben. Uh, Ben's way better of a character now. He's starting to be like, hey, Beyond, you're kind of sketchy. I'm going to find out what's wrong. And then as soon as he starts to do that, they just try to wipe his memories away. So it's interesting. And upon trying to wipe away his memories, they messed up with the experiment and he's starting to get all of Peter's memories again, which he lost in Clone Conspiracy, I think. So he, he's there's this really cool panel of him falling into like, like memories of Uncle Ben and oh, like getting cool. bit by the spider and stuff. So I guess he's, yeah, he's getting his memories back. Uh, one of the panels is Gwen dying, which he doesn't remember. He hasn't remembered since he first appeared, essentially. So, right. Next issue should be good. He's probably going to be pretty mad or sad. One of the two things. So, Hulk is good. You should read it, yeah, it's, Judy. It's confusing, yeah, but it's good. Not, You're not a big Hulk guy. I'm not the biggest Hulk guy either, but I'm mostly reading this because it's Ryan Otley. Yeah. Fair. Like invincible writer or, or sorry, sorry not right, artist. Artist. How does my audio sound now? Does it sound all right? It's better now, yeah. Yeah. All right. A little bit better. Still a little bit quiet, but but definitely better than it was before. Uh one one interesting thing that's horror like this this book is very horror styled. Um the, so Hulk's on another earth right now. And uh on this earth, Bruce Banner, when he was making the gamma like a multiverse type thing? Yeah. Yeah. This I, is I wasn't a, expecting that. This is the Earth that Tony's been hiding from Bruce. So, and like, Ms., and Reed was too. Reed and Tony knew of this Earth, but they didn't want to tell Bruce. Bruce found his way. And on this Earth, the gamma radiation bomb that turned Bruce Banner to Hulk went off worldwide. It was a success, but it was too much. So everybody on this Earth got Hulk powers. But it's not like, oh, hey, we're all the incredible Hulk. It's like terrifying. They're like bones are breaking and like babies are becoming it. And Gosh. some people are okay. But some people yeah. like the radiation so much that their skin rips apart. And it's yes. Ryan Otley on art. And it's very invincible. Very Oscars. invincible. It's very gory. I'm shocked that it's so gory, actually. 
yeah, yeah. For a Marvel comic. Because mm-hmm. there's even a like, it, it's com- this part I can't explain. It's confusing, but Bruce has Hulk in like a virtual reality type thing where he has threats being thrown at Hulk to keep him back. It keeps cutting to this other story. We don't know if this is a flashback or what. And he so he sends a, a virtual giant Wolverine to fight Hulk. And Hulk rips Wolverine's yep. arm off, then uses its claw to cut out Wolverine's eyes. Jeez. And it, it, there's no censoring. To it shows Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Otley went full uh, Vulturemite War? Yeah, yeah, essentially. It's very gory. You see the bone snap. You see, like, he rips off the, the one of, like, the claws of Wolverine like a nail. Like, he just rips it upward. And yeah, it's Jesus. yeah. Honestly, yeah, it's, I'm pretty disappointed that that was because I was hyped as soon as I saw the initial like covers. I thought like Wolverine was actually going to be in this series, not just like in just a virtual reality. Giant thing. Wolverine versus Hulk, where he rips off his arm, <laughs> like lunges yeah. at him. But yeah, it's it's brutal for sure, but it's enjoyable. There's also like a like a big bald Hulk that keeps appearing and Hulk keeps screaming at him like to come back, but he keeps yeah. vanishing. I don't I don't understand what that is. Like first appearance. Is that... <laughs> yeah. Keep keep your issue. I think he first appeared in issue two because he'll keep it safe. But yeah. Mm. Yep. Uh that's all I read this <clears throat> week. All right. I only read one book. So I also got Superman Son of Kal El. Uh, I got Superman and I got Black Manza, but I haven't gone around to reading it yet because oh, I thought you dropped Superman. Superman. No, no, I'm thinking about it. Oh. I want to wait till the Nightwing crossover is over. Yeah, I was about to say the next issue is the Nightwing crossover. Yeah, so that, that's why I'm waiting. So we'll, we'll wait and see. Uh, I, uh, I read Detective Comics this week. That's weekly now. Drew will always be the guy who advertises Detective Comics. It's pretty good. It has I Ivan Reese on art. I hear yeah, it's Ivan good. Reese. Ivan Reese is on art. It's basically back to being a Bat Family book, and uh, there's no more Arkham Asylum. So it's the Arkham Tower. It's good that uh, Ivan Reese is uh, finally out of uh, Bendis' Superman. <laughs> yeah, I love yeah. He, he'll, he'll, he'll no longer have his beautiful Superman art blocked by uh, five pages of text. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> Bendis speak. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, but man, besides that, yeah, that's... it's pretty good. I don't know. Uh, you guys are missing out big time. <laughs> I hear it's good. I hear it's good. Yeah. But I, I do want to. I like the current arc that they have with the. The tower in Gotham that's like under siege. That sounds interesting. Yeah. I saw panels of that. Just wait till I read it digitally. Like it's uh, good, but well, Hunter Hunter's a digital god now. He loves mm, Marvel Unlimited. Yeah, I just hate it when is... like I hate when titles go weekly. You know, it's just kind of like, oh no. ASM did that so much under Nick Spencer. It's still doing, doing that, that, right, that now. right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's weekly right now. So which is why there's a different artist in every book but yeah it is a little annoying um drew if you want you can stick around for this but uh we a oh, bruno Ronaldo liked my comment uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh jd and i uh since this, this is episode 175 we decided to post on a hero story instagram to ask us questions uh do you want to join in or do you want to yeah i'll stick around that way i don't have to listen to it later oh thanks man <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just i'll just listen to it now appreciate it man <laughs> well feel free uh, i don't know if any questions are directed to you but a lot of them are just questions in general that you can answer so i haven't read these yet but um i'll i'll, I'll start with the first question dgs stuff 47 asks bring sean no I don't. I don't know what that means. Is that a question? No, or is I think that a statement? I, I think it's a demand. It's a demand. <laughs> yeah. Bring Sean. No. He'll be back next week, I think. Sean retired. Yeah, he he got. That has no effect on Sean since he gave up his powers. <laughs> Ever since Sean gave up his powers, he aged like fifty-eight years, and he now he's already he's... mentally like fifty-eight years old. But now he's just like physically. Imagine by like fifty-eight more years. So he was put on Earth three. <laughs> and, <Earth. laughs> and he's back with now. flashpoint batman <laughs> yeah and now he's back and he's he's older Bring it, it was a bendis idea it wasn't uh, bendis so he's, he's in a retirement home now as far as harper no one knows no one knows no one knows he, he's trying to break into the australian government building to get kangaroo jack three the extended cut yeah, and they're just like, we haven't made a second one. And he's like, I don't believe in the lie. He said, oh, I know you got it in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
quit lying to our people. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. Uh, Connor underscore Reinhardt 06 asks, what heroes and villains do you want to get more into? Hunter? Moon Knight. <laughs> <laughs> well, Drew, you Daredevil. so far so good with not knowing. Oh, yeah, Daredevil. Read Daredevil, you bastard, Drew. He's never yeah, read any Drew. Daredevil in his life. Okay, well, for me, uh, Doctor Strange. I, I haven't read. Doc- I would agree with Doctor. I haven't really read Doctor Strange much. I've read a little bit here and there, but Doctor Strange, uh, maybe one day X Men, but no rush. <laughs> one, one day, at least get uh, a Wolverine. Yeah. Captain Marvel, I wouldn't mind getting more into. What about you? You'd rather get into Captain Marvel or Wolverine? Yeah, I, I would. <laughs> oh, Alpha. I actually want to read like a lot of Alpha Flight because. So you could say, yeah. that, you know, the Canadian hero. I have their first appearance. I, you know, represent Canadian heroes, but I actually haven't read them. So. Um, I would agree with Doctor Strange. I would say for villain, I would love to read more Doctor Doom. I mean, I've read like Books of Doom and Mark Waid's Fantastic Four, but I'd like to read more Doctor Doom. Okay. Drew, do you have oh, Moon Knight, right? Uh, comic Book Connor. Whoa. Did I start a trend for using Two names? Connors? Whoa. Also, what? Okay. Uh, and Andy Tong and Alyssa Wong. <laughs> uh, ask, what's your go to feel good comic book? Ooh, good question. Um, it doesn't make me feel good because it has a sad <laughs> ending, but Flash Blitz is like my go-to. I could read that anytime, all day and all That's night. Like your feel- and I know Drew agrees. Um, yeah. Feel good, Spider-Man Blue, man. Oh, Always that's it. Well, better. I mean that that hurts. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's a it's a good hurt. Yeah, that's fair. Spider-Man Blue, I think, is a good answer. I was gonna say Scott Pilgrim versus the World. A, Never read it. it. I would recommend it. It's feel good. Is it, it makes- a lot like the movie or no? It. It is the same plot, but there's a lot more because you know it's it's six volumes, and for a movie you can only do too much. So How many it's a lot more. Is that like all like six issues? You're saying or no six volumes, and they're like fairly thick. Oh shit! Like if you were to read in one sitting, it'd probably take you a long time. I don't, I don't know how long. I don't no, know. That, you thanks for the rough estimate. I don't know, long like time. ten hours, nine hours, maybe eight hours. It's good though. I, I would recommend. It. It's very very good, and the ending makes me feel empty inside. So oh, I guess it's... much like Invincible's ending. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I had the same feeling for Invincible <sighs> and Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. You get to the last page, you read the last line, you see the last panel, and you're like, "Well, now I'm now now I have nothing with my in my life." <laughs> yeah, literally. So I, I'd recommend it. Uh, Court of Comics asked, "What is your guys' favorite single issue?" Flash number zero by Mark Wade, forever and always. Uh, Justice League number fifty, new fifty two. Is one that holds this place in my heart just because I remember getting really excited over it. It's the Dark Side War finale. <laughs> I, I know. It's That's the, the one that comes first Jessica to Cruz mind. becomes Green Lantern. Yeah. I don't know though. Uh, Birds of Prey, Birds of Prey number eight by Chuck Dixon from like the '90s run. That's the one with Dick and Babs on the cover. Uh, That's a good one. Year. Yeah, it's, it's where she's swinging. Yep, where they go on the trapeze yeah. together. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Oh, I said that word weird. Trapeze, trapeze, trapeze. Besides that, though, I'm, I'm trying. I feel like I had an answer for this that wasn't that. Oh, I'll, I'll, I guess I guess it's escaped you. <laughs> dang, I I had an answer. It's, it's just you love you. I know you love that cover, Drew. You love that cover. Is, like I don't know. It's it's one of those issues that like whenever I see it, I grab it. But also I like like this first page. Oh, it's a great first page. I don't know, like. But yeah, Flash, Flash Zero, like in terms of story, but this for like cover. If they were to have an animated Flash movie or show, I would want it to start with that like panel, like him holding out the ring and holding out the dead Flash totally. suit. Oh, duh. Uh, Daredevil 187. That, that's the one in my mind. Wait. Yeah. Uh, I thought you would say 191, the one with Bullseye with the roulette. I like that one too, but I, I don't know why. Uh, if I were to put a Daredevil, she would probably be 191. 187 is the one where his hearing's all honk. Yeah, yeah it's, everything's <laughs> loud to him. And I don't know. I, I really like that. Ah, oh, such a good panel. Uh, such a good issue, honestly. <laughs> we won't ask. Uh, we won't answer. Or sorry, we won't answer every of these questions. I'm just gonna. I'm just reading out usernames at this point, and then reading the questions. So we'll see what we get. Oh uh, Bruce underscore Stevens asks question. When is it my turn to be happy? Tomorrow. Oh, Bruce. Tomorrow. <laughs> Good, tomorrow. Good oh. 
But is it tomorrow as in Friday or tomorrow whenever when he, he listens to this? Bruce Stevens. Whenever Bruce, Bruce Stevens listens to this episode, here's this answer. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, Bruce. Yeah. It's going to be okay, Bruce. Uh, Nick Heaster says, for real, what's your favorite Else World slash What If story? I like What If Gwen Stacy didn't die because I just think it's like such an interesting, like how much it shapes the Spider Man mythos and the Marvel Universe as a whole um and then for elseworld i'm a big fan of red sun i think that's a really cool one. like it's just like a kind of yeah. out there concept for me it's a batman earth one but that's it that's my answer <laughs> uh for those who don't know it's a it's a what if batman didn't really have the gadgets or the trainings and bruce wayne just had the passion to be batman i gotta he, read earth one he gets beat up <laughs> but it's really really well done it's jeff johns i gotta read it yeah it's and gary frank Matthew underscore Novak asks, why won't you cowards minus JD read Geiger? Yes. Drew, 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 is, Drew, is not a, Drew is not a coward either because he's read it. Geiger. It doesn't interest me. Six issues. Six issues. Oh. I don't know, man. It's... Gary Frank. You just you were just talking about Gary Frank art. Yeah, or, that's true. Yeah, Gary Frank art. Bam. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. Uh, the, moving only, on. The, the, only, the only way Hunter will read it is if I mail it to him, and I know it, so I'll just mail it to him eventually. Okay. He'll show up on your doorstep and you'll be like, Oh, I look okay. forward to it. I look forward to it. <laughs> like, what, is, hold on. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I'll put on some gloves for that. Abbas Jora says, Hopefully, I'm pronouncing your name right. You're not pronouncing any of these right, probably not. What's your expectations from the Flash movie after all the controversy around it? Zero expectations because if. What did, what did Zendaya say? If you don't have expectations, you can't be let down. <laughs> I've already been let down by this movie. Yep. I'm, I'm, it will disappoint me. I go into the theater knowing I will be disappointed. <sighs> I think it will legitimately bother me, but I think the action will be really good. You say, you always say that. It's your go-to, like, well, the action's pretty good. I'd like to see people get punched. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, but I, 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 it will all. bother me. Like, I don't think I'll be disappointed. I think I'll be annoyed. Oh, yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna to be annoyed. Yeah. I'm going to be mad. Yeah. So, when I see Henry Cavill on a TV screen, I'm gonna punch the seat in front. And of it's me. just Man of Steel. Yeah. Did you guys see the rumored like cast list of uh, Multiverse of Madness? Uh, no, hold on, JD. That? Did you just say you're gonna punch the person in front of you? <laughs> <laughs> I said the seat in front of me, but if there's a person <laughs> in it, then then you know it goes down. Yeah. I'm all right. Uh, no, I didn't see any rumored. Doctor Strange. It's so. totally bullshit, but um, then Henry Cavill Superman in Multiverse of Madness. Uh, he's no, he's gonna be Hyperion in it. No Put him in the MCU. Him. Put him in the MCU. I want him in the MCU. Adam Brown two five seven says, "What's your favorite comic book movie?" Spider Verse. Yeah, Spider Verse. Into the Spider Verse. If we're talking live uh, action, followed very closely by Spider Man Two. Yeah, if we're talking live action for me. It might be No Way Home. It might be the amazing Spider Man, too. It might be the I mean, yeah. <laughs> Drew, you're in MC New York. Rhino. If you look out your window, right. do you see the set of the amazing Spider Man, too? <laughs> yes, I live in Times Square. <laughs> uh, let's see. Comic Andre says thoughts on Dick Grayson's Batman. It's good. I like it. I have Black Mirror in front of me right now. I've been thinking about yeah. reading it. I'm going to be reading it next month. I like the Morrison stuff. Yep, Batman and Robin, fire. Jeff the Land Shark underscore says, should, <laughs> says, should Spider-Man keep a spider? <laughs> As like a pet? <laughs> no, I don't think he should. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I, I will take the opposite side of this debate. Peter Parker should have a pet tarantula. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Mike Hansford says, will you lads be reading Justice League now that Bass Williamson will be taking over the book? It's only for one issue. Did he say I'll read Bass that one issue. Williamson? His name's yeah, Josh yeah. Williamson. Yeah. I think it was slang. Oh, <laughs> I don't speak the kid lingo. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I like Williamson a lot, and but he's only writing one issue. Like, it's not gonna Yeah, like that's the end of Justice League. Yeah, sorry. I hope I didn't. However, if there is a title that pops out of it, like I mentioned, with the legacy team, I'm all about it. Jeff the Land Shark also says, "Do you think the Netflix? Should... No, we're gonna skip that. <laughs> no, we will not talk about Marvel Netflix. I refuse. We've talked wait, about. Wait, 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 There's wait, too wait, many wait. hours put in the show on Marvel too Netflix. Uh, well, uh, Andres DBC says, "How much money would it take for you guys to never read slash watch anything comic related?" Oh, huh. 
that is an interesting question because what would I spend that money on? I would spend the money on comics. So yeah, that's what I buy. What do I need the money for? Hobby. That's, that's <laughs> what I do is I read comics. So I don't it would know. Take, it would take a considerable amount of money because I have I, to, that's like I would have no thing. hobby. I would have no hobby outside of this. Is this your only hobby? Not my only hobby. I like to play sports. I like movies and stuff. But like, yeah, it's my main hobby. Again. You can start weightlifting again. You, again, that never stop, baby. Yeah, Come on now. I don't hear anything. You used to be like, oh yeah, I hit this on bench. Nothing now. <laughs> yeah, it's because it's because I'm going through a seasonal depression and I can't hit a PR. But it's all right. <laughs> Just wait for the summer, baby. I don't know Off-cycle. how much money. I'm... Straight up, I'm gonna say a million dollars. A million dollars. This is what I like. This is what makes me happy. All right, <laughs> like... all right. A, a Canadian businessman comes up to you and offers you nine hundred thousand dollars to never touch any comic book content again that means you cannot watch the batman you i would say watch oh my god yeah dr strange i would be like can you give me like 10 minutes to pace back and forth with my hands <laughs> on my head <laughs> you can't you can't even well, enjoy what would you say? Of... man I, I can't watch anything i mean think about like like not being able to watch no way home like people are enjoying it and you're just like oh I can't yeah watch it. and like you know it's gonna be like yeah, you know all this stuff is happening and yeah. you can't like it's not it's not like you're you're never a comic book fan because of this like you still like comics you just can't enjoy them now you can't you can't even uh, go back yeah a, a cool millie might change that but i don't know i uh, yeah that my That's a good other, question. Like, we have other passions That's like, like jd likes sports and i love movies like just regular movies. I, I love fantasy. I love Tim tabletop Hortons. games. I love Tim Hortons. I love Dungeons and Dragons, Lord of the Rings. Like I like other stuff, but Rugby. comic books are like yeah. My, look at his, look at his wall behind one. him. It's like mostly comics. And then nothing because <laughs> <of> renovation. <laughs> and then Marty McFly. Yeah, exactly. But I, I want to say a million, but it might it might be more extra. Would, you haven't answered, Jada. You haven't you haven't said a number. I, I gotta say, probably a million. It would take it would take a lot because I can't imagine a world in which I don't like comics. Yeah, like the Batman is almost here. It's like you not you can't see it. Yeah, yeah, you can't watch it. You can't enjoy it. Fuck. Jade or so Drew, what, what do you think? I will of? never give up Venom. Yeah. <laughs> imagine you would not be wearing that sweater or holding that comic. Twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if I didn't have comics. I would probably just invest all my time and money to become a UFC fighter or a boxer. And it's like, I will kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking all spend... this comic rage. I can't watch Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> or I would just spend all my all my money on NFTs and crypto. And... <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Drew, well, how much though? How much would... Oh, man. It'd have to be a couple million. A couple million? A couple million. I don't think a one million. Like, maybe like... I guess if someone's like, all right, here's a million, million, I'll be like, can you go up? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you were willing to take a million? Would you take yeah. two million? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it'd have to be a couple million because, man, everything is comic. I don't know. I read everything. comics every day. Like, I have I mean, other yeah. passions, but comics, that's like the number one. Yeah, fair enough. All right, good question. That was a very good question. Jeff the that Land Shark, I'm question. just noticing, Jeff, that you've asked 100 questions. <laughs> Do you think there should be the Amazing Spider-Man three, or do you think No Way Home gave Andrew the send off he deserves? Fuck it, make it. Why not? Make it. I'd watch yeah. it. I like the Amazing Spider-Man movies, but I find it odd that so many people are campaigning for this. It's, it's like, yeah, let's have Sony make another Spider-Man movie because the last time went so well. I feel like I, it that's gave it for me. I love these movies. I of course I want it, but I'm shocked that the world wants this. Yeah, Sony has technically made every Spider-Man film, so get fun. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, fair enough. They made it into the Spider-Verse. Bam, boom. She just need a good director. I'm just trying to find a question that Jeff didn't ask. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> no, if Andrew never came back, I'd be content. But I feel like it's gonna happen, or at least I, like... they set it off. I stopped pulling my punches. You just set up his black suit error right there. Yeah, but like, na, 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 na. they're gonna do the same thing with Tom Holland, like. What? I don't know. Yeah, all right, but Jeff. I don't want Tom Holland's black suit era. Jeff, you're asking you some pretty. No. Du, 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 du. Du, Jeff, du, you're du, asking du. some good questions here. Is there a civil war type event for DC? If there was, who would be the main heroes facing off? I mean, it's basically uh, injustice, isn't it? Batman and Superman. Yeah, Batman and Superman. Oh, I I know who would be. That'd be better than that. Let's hear Plastic it. Man versus Elongated Man. Settle it. <laughs> who is better? Okay. Finally, they both suck. Elongated man, no, elongated man is better. He got canceled. No. He got his face burned by acid. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> 
Oh, Dante. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> he was in the Flash. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. <clears throat> Dante yeah. B six says opinions on the Lantern Corps and their stories. Well, I love Green Lantern. I think that Green Lantern yeah. is like the Star Wars of DC, and I would love for them mm, to do it right. That's a good comparison. Action. That's a really good comparison. Uh, ideal Justice League replacements, such as Dick Grayson as Batman. Oh man, Dick Grayson as Batman. <laughs> Two flashes, two Green Lanterns on the league. Barry yes, Wally, Hal Kyle. That would be an interesting start right there, mm-hmm. right? I would say uh, Hal Jess. Elong- elongated. Did I man. ask for your opinion? No, you didn't. Sorry. Elongated man, so Drew will leave me alone. <laughs> Still elongated man in there. Please. Yeah, uh, Dick Grayson, Donna Troy. I want to see Donna on the Justice League. I think that'd be cool. Um, bring up, like, Connor. Why not? I mean, he'd be a good Superman, I feel like. You know, let him oh, be I the main you, guy. I thought, oh, yeah, I thought you Connor Hawk. Connor Hawk. Yeah, same. Oh, I'll take Connor Hawk too. I need a, I need an archer. Give me yeah. two supers. Give me Supergirl and Superboy. Mm. I want to see Supergirl in the league. My, my team's all about the duos. Yeah, two, I can su- tell. Two, two Krypto- uh, Kryptonians, two Lanterns, two Flashes. That could totally work. No Kryptonians, no Lanterns. I, I like it. What about Ambush Bug? Yes, Am- yes Fred. Love Fred. <laughs> Uh, Houch Inns Gavin asks, who is your favorite writer and favorite artist? Right now or in general? Because right now I'll stump Taylor with Bruno Ronaldo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If we're talking like current ongoing, yeah, Taylor Ronaldo. If we're talking all time, you know, Here it comes. I mean, there's so many names that come to Here mind for artists. Oh, okay. We all know my writer opinion. Is yeah. <laughs> but I also love Mark Wade. I love Chuck Dixon. I love a lot of writers, but Bendis. Bendis, Bendis, seriously, yeah. Bendis wrote my Old favorite Bendis. run on Daredevil, Avengers, and Spider Man. <laughs> Artists, I mean, there's so many to choose from, and like it really just depends on the character. But like the first one that man. comes to mind for me for artists is Fabok. I've always been, yeah, that, like, I mean, it, yeah, it's, it just, it's so clean. He, I mean, he does such good every time, such good. I, th- I think, like, Jim Lee, like, man, mm-hmm. reading Jim New Fifty Two yeah. Just League, I was like, holy shit, this is so good. No, did you read that recently? No, I, I oh, like I'm okay. saying when when I read it, I was like, "Holy shit! Like this is amazing." Bad yeah, Jim, shit. Jim like, Lee so for good. sure. Mm-hmm. Classic Frank Miller is really good for a writer. Oh man, and Frank Miller is an artist too. Yeah, his Daredevil classic, stuff, yeah. original. Yeah, that's da- true. David, that's true. David, uh, I don't remember his, what his last name is. Machiavelli, whatever. The one who worked on Born Again and Batman Year One. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Mazzucchelli, mm-hmm. I think. Ma- Ma- Machiavelli. <laughs> Mozzarella. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Trade Talks Comics asks Silver Surfer recommendations. Silver Surfer, Silver Black. Surfer Black is the only Silver Surfer I've read. It's very yeah, trippy. Yeah. It's very cool. It's really good stuff. Um, who is your or who is your favorite Nightwing artist? Asks Jeff Lulansher. Sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Redondo Jeff is really abusing this question box. Yeah, yeah, he's asked a lot of questions. My gosh. Uh. Top three favorite heroes and villains. Was this another Jeff Lanchard question? No, this is Houchins Gavin. Uh, Hasn't he already asked the question? Yeah, I think he has. Top three favorite heroes and villains? Flash, Nightwing, Daredevil. Okay, for heroes for me, uh, I like Daredevil, Batman, Spider-Man. Drew? For me, it'd be Flash, Batman, Wolverine. Villains. Wow, Green Lantern's not your. I thought Green Lantern would be in your top three over Batman. He's like number four. Wow. All right, top three villains. Oh, I got a thing going on. Reverse Flash. Bullseye. Fuck, that's somebody I want to choose. Captain Cold. Bullseye, interesting. Oh, Bullseye's so fucking good. Every time he appears, I get excited. So good. For me, Black Manta. Reverse Flash, like Eobard. Like, honestly. And Doctor Doom, maybe. See, I, I said Reverse Flash because that could mean Hunter or Eobard. I didn't specify. It's Hunter for you, though, right? It's both. Yeah, oh, no, okay. it's, it's Hunter. I love Hunter. For me, it's Eobard. Not, not you, Hunter. That Hunter. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I, I think Hunter. I think Doom might be my my third Doctor oh, Doom. Oh, Doom's so good. I mean, you're, you just went off like a full Secret Wars page. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah, God Doom. Yeah. Drew, let's hear it. Three villains. Reverse Flash, Two Face, and Captain Cold. Wow, we had two or three. Wait, yeah, wow. Reverse Flash, Eobard or Hunter? 
Hunter probably. Yeah, we, all we love Hunter, Hunter, but not that Hunter. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so reverse flash. Two Sorry, face. Two fa- yeah, two face. What two face? Two face is great I, when written properly. Yeah. A lot of times they right. just write him, but he's great. Like, he's probably one of Long Halloween. Battles. That's like my favorite Batman yeah. story. So. Okay, here, here's a question asked by Comic Hunter. Uh, favorite Comic Batman Hunter. villain? Favorite Batman villain? This is just me right now. Oh, oh, Two Face. Oh, I'd probably go Two Face as well. Really, all time for Batman. Okay. I mean, Joker is the easy answer, but I'll go Two Face. For me, it's Riddler. What's your favorite Riddler? Really, story? Batman Earth One Volume Two. What's your second favorite Riddler story? Batman Zero Year Dark City. What's your third favorite? Keep story? It <laughs> 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 I like Riddler. I like Riddler stories. So interesting. Yeah. Do you like the Do you like the Riddler arc where he comes to Flash at the end of the New Fifty Two? No, I didn't actually. I barely yeah. remember. I remember the cover I don't, I don't even the remember story. I can't so even remember a single thing about that. I remember. I, the I just remember that one cover where he's got like that flash thing in his Riddler. Yeah, mustache. in his cane. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that. I'm um, also when they announced that there was going to be the villain for the Batman movie, I was like, <laughs> I'm excited for that. It's a good uh, choice, that actor. Trey Pass asks a very important question: Will JD ever read Kate's Venom? Yeah, everyone wants me to read Kate's Venom. It's good. Uh, I don't think I will. I honestly don't think I will. All right. You're missing out, man. You're missing out. I'm not. Maybe maybe when this shirt turns black, maybe one day. Do you have a thing against Donny Cates? I feel like you don't. I, I read I Silver Surfer Black. Yeah, but I, we I have a thing have a, against. <laughs> you have a thing against yeah, Donny Cates. Is cool. I kind of view Donny Cates like the Marvel Scott Snyder, just a little bit better. But... Do you do you not like him because of what he did to Sean? Or... What did he do to Sean? He uh, when Sean went to go get something signed he just didn't even talk to him he just was like yeah, yeah. <laughs> really yes yeah, so, yeah, yes yeah. so i have didn't he, he treated you pretty good didn't he i hyped i hyped sean up when i talked to him i was like dude i just met donny cates he was super cool like i met him at the convention i went to over the summer and he was all excited about it and then he was like yeah didn't he just kind of talked to who i forget what the artist was that was next to him but yeah he just talked to that artist while he was signing stuff and he was just like oh Listen, okay. if you think about being like a writer or an artist at a Comic Con, it's got to be brutal. You're meeting like 500 people and like you have like, you know, a 30 second window with each person. It's hard to have a great experience with everyone, right? Yeah. Especially on like the last day of a con. If you're going to. Right. You've been oh, doing yeah, this for three days straight. Yeah. This is like the 1500th person you've seen. This is like, Jesus yeah. Christ. And then Sean's like, can I write a CV article? <laughs> <laughs> Nick. Nick.Heaster3 asked top three yeah, Sean Griffin CBR articles. Sean. Oh man, the Sean. list is too large and too glorious. <laughs> Can never all narrow down the top three. All of them. <laughs> all of them. Uh, Trey talks. Comma says, "Will Hunter actually ever read Daredevil series like the uh, Kin- Kinty and Chichester runs? Probably not. He will not. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, if he can't say the name, he will not read it. Hey, I love the cares. That doesn't mean I have to read every single thing. Right. See. Uh." Ultimus underscore says, "Who watches the Herm? This is the Herm guy, I think. He's said he's you know I'll give this guy respect. He's commented Herm on a lot of my content for the last like three years. That's dedication for me. It's like five what? years. I feel like yeah. <laughs> this guy comes Herm, Herm like the like the you know the Watchmen thing mm-hmm. oh, for like okay. three years, five years maybe. P twenty ninety nine says, question for Hunter: What's the best Aquaman story in your opinion? Uh, Throne of Atlantis. The trench is pretty close." But Throne of Atlantis is my favorite. Yeah, I would agree. Throne of Atlantis. Yeah. Trey Pass says, "Why doesn't JD like Immortal Hulk?" I, I maybe I had too high of expectations, but because everyone was talking about like it's just as good as Zdarsky's Daredevil, so maybe I went in with too high of expectations. But I thought it was just very mid. Yeah, Personally. that's fair. Hunter owns it and has still never read it. So I own the say? first two volumes. Yeah, I haven't. So what does it. that say? Dookie twenty nine nine again says, "Question for JD." Do you pretend to write for either Marvel or DC in the future? I do you mean intend? Do you, do you intend to? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would love to write uh, for, I don't think I could write for Marvel. I would love to write for Marvel. Like, if yeah, Marvel, no, okay. I, yeah. I don't think I could do it. Like, I just don't think I would be able to do it. I, I could definitely write for DC though. Um, I'd love to write for DC one day. You know, I think one day I could. Why not Marvel? I just don't think I have like the like voice of the character that I do for DC. Like, I, I feel like I could write a DC ongoing right now. Like I could write, you know, a bunch of different characters. Marvel, if you gave me Daredevil, I honestly wouldn't know what to do. Really? Oh, interesting. Mm. He gets his vision. <laughs> You'll end up, uh... he, types on, he types on a cat. 
<laughs> no, you, you're gonna end up writing for a dark horse or something. I fuck it, I'd love it, man. In your own story, I, yeah. I just want to have one published book so I could be like, that's me. I did that. <laughs> Uh, the Comics Frontier says, you guys should rank how excited you are for each comic book movie for 2022. The Batman. Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, I'd say Multiverse of Madness second. For me, yep. Thor Love and Thunder will be next. Ah, uh, drop that one at the yep. bottom. Yeah, for you, it's really? the bottom. For me, it's next. Yeah. What I understand because of Ragnarok. Is... What else comes out in 2022? Um, is that it? No, there must be more. There's got to be more. Black Adam. <laughs> Uh, it's about okay. drive. It's about right power. in the we center. Hungry, we I'm very neutral on that. I don't think it'll be good, but I also don't think it'll be bad. Uh, the Flash. Oh, all the way at the bottom. Yeah, the yeah. bottom. Dreading it. Oh, Morbius. Oh, Morbius. above the Batman. <laughs> there, there's a better back <laughs> character coming. <laughs> yes. uh, back character. And uh, Black Panther sequel. In the middle, we know nothing on this. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. 2020. Yeah, late 2022. Uh, Aquaman sequel. Oh, that's gonna be up there. That's top four. And then uh, uh, Spider Verse sequel. Oh, oh. Mm. is it above the? And then yeah. and then Sonic two. That that's above the Batman. But <laughs> that so, where Sonic good. shakes hands with the president. Spider Verse. Is uh, Ant Man also coming in twenty twenty two or that? No, that that's twenty twenty three. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. What about Batgirl? Is that twenty twenty two? I don't know. Twenty three. Oh. Is it? No. Oh, the League of Super Pets with. The Rock and Kevin Hart. Oh, above the bat. <laughs> above everything. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Know right there I'm... with Morbius, it goes Super Pets, Morbius. If you can only see the Batman or across the Spider Verse, what do you pick? Oh man, yeah. across, Spider- across Spider Verse. Just give me the million dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do across yeah. Spider Verse. Yeah, I think I do Spider Verse. That that's a tough one though. That is, yeah. And even if we're counting Disney Plus stuff, then there's also Moon Knight, She Hulk, Miss Marvel. I mean, Moon Knight's pretty high up there. But yeah, um, I'm trying to find... I, I, like scro- I don't know why I didn't do this in order. I just kind of scrolled through this. Because that's the most Hunter thing to do. I not know, do it more, I just know. Click. Drew, do you have a oh. question for us? <laughs> um, no, yeah, Drew, I, I talk actually, us, Drew can talk to us at any time he wants. <laughs> I put one in there. You didn't you see did? it? No, I Drew didn't Dennis, Australia or New Zealand? Gotta go with Australia. <laughs> Big fan of Harper. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I do. I don't really know the difference, honestly. I know what? the flags are similar, <laughs> bro. They're the different flags, countries. They're different countries. <laughs> I know that, but slightly different Jeez, accent. Uh, I've been to I've been to both countries, and they're very, very different. What was New Zealand like? Say again. What was New Zealand like? Uh, I was on the southern island, and on there. Lots of, I believe the Northern Island has more mountains, but there's still lots of mountains in general. I mean, you get all the seasons there essentially. While Australia, it's very rare if you get snow. If you're near Melbourne, or even if you're, I'm not going to pretend I, I know Harper's listening. I'm, I lived in Australia for a few years and I go very often, but I'm not going to pretend like I know how weather works there for where it's snow. I, I grew up in Brisbane, which is nowhere near where Harper lived. And where Harper's is, He's in a shack in the middle of nowhere, and he gets snow once every time the planets align, but he still gets snow. While Brisbane, you don't get snow at all. So It snowed today. I haven't talked to Harper in a while. <laughs> cool, thanks. Jake. Thanks for the weather report. Uh, yeah. Thoughts on Daredevil, Man Without Fear? Got to be honest, most overrated Daredevil story. Uh, that's one where JRJR's art is a little boxy. Not yeah, it's like I mean, origin for Frank Miller, not the it, biggest fan. It's the third or well, technically it's the second, but there's three origin stories told in Daredevil comics. It's my, I mean, the first being Stan Lee's, but if you're comparing, Ye- Yellow is the better Daredevil origin, in my opinion. Yeah, like if someone said, like, oh, should I start with Man Without Fear? I don't think I would ever say yes. Mm-hmm. No, if anything, guy. read it as like an epilogue for a Frank Miller story. Wow, that was you literally read every question on here. Did I? And that's the question segment of I, this episode. I feel like I skipped some. I literally just read over every question. You read every single one. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> well, thanks they, for saying your questions. Um now what? We can either talk about what we what we're currently reading or we yeah. on the show. Uh well, what are you reading? I just finished Bendis Daredevil uh the other day. Man, what a journey. 
that when I read Wade's Daredevil last year, I was like, I was like, man, that might be my favorite Daredevil title. No, nope. Bendis still reigns supreme. Bendis and I said I was, I was due for a Bendis reread. There is literally not one bad arc. One bad issue. <laughs> There's not one bad issue. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, it does the identity reveal and it works. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like where it didn't work for Superman, it works in Daredevil. Yeah. And it still has impact, I mean, to this day. Exactly. Yeah. Kingpin was just screaming at Daredevil like last week, being like, what did you do to my mind? Like, who like, are it, you? It, it doesn't get erased like so many other things do. It has long lasting effects. And yeah, it's just. Well, it's it gets erased, book. but it's still brought up. Right. I'm not Daredevil. I love that sweater. Uh, mm-hmm. I, and then now I'm starting Brubaker's Daredevil, which Sad. I don't think that. I mean, I don't think. Daredevil and Cellblock D? Amazing. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've really read a lot of Brew Baker Daredevil though, so it's it's kind of fresh to me. Like th- these are Harper's words, but it is depressing. Like, yeah, I just read the uh, the issue with Vanessa. Yeah, where, uh, yeah, that was, that was yeah. some good stuff. It's so. sad in general. Like it's it's a very sad comic, and they it's just good, like though. the art's really sharp. Like Bendis's run is dark, but Brew Baker takes Matt and she's like, "I'm just gonna ruin this guy's life." The, the interesting thing about Bendis is, is like it's so many different genres at once. Like mm-hmm. it's like it's like a crime noir type story yeah. in Daredevil. Yeah, so many good issues, so many good like arcs, so many good moments. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't wait for Drew to read it because he needs he needs yeah. this. In his yeah, yeah, I, I need forget. to get on. Listen, Drew, you love Murdoch. you love comic book redheads. Matt Murdock has been waiting for you. Yeah, <laughs> he's he is waiting for me. I don't. The thing I is the most appealing for when I eventually read Daredevil. It just seems like there's not, I don't know, there just seems like there's so many good stories and so many good runs. There and is. It, it seems like there's like only a, a couple bad mm-hmm. parts. Like not Andy a lot. Andy Diggle hiding in the corner. Is that like the whole Shadowland? Shadowland, that? yeah. That yeah. is that? That's the one that's like skip like universally hated. Yeah, mm-hmm. a lot of people just, I've, every time I've heard about it, just like, oh, And it's never it. brought up again, too, in comics. It's not yeah. like, it's, yeah. it has no... But, I mean, you, you, could go, you could go right from, like, Miller, Smith, Bendis, Brubaker, Wade, Sewell, Zdarsky. Like, it, it, it all seems to kind of flow. Yeah, it's okay. all one story. Almost. So It's the story of Daredevil. Like, Batman, it'd be like, oh, if you want, you could start at Morrison, or you could start at Snyder, or you could start at, like, Williamson right now. For Daredevil, yep. it's for the best experience you start with Miller because it's all one thing. Everything that happens, every big thing that happens will be brought up again. The, the video that Hunter yeah. posts on his post today where it's like, are, are you sure you want to get into this? Like, once you start, there's no coming back. Absolutely. That is literally Daredevil. Like, there is no going yeah. back. Like, people are just like, oh, I want to read Daredevil. Okay, start at Miller. Oh, but I want to read the current run. You can if you want, but if you want to read Daredevil, why not get the best experience? Yeah, and, and there's so many why great rush? stories to read to the end where you'll be like okay i'm caught up now i'll do nothing <laughs> you just yeah. it's it's really you're, you're, you're really gonna love it drew you're gonna binge it so hard so have you guys read most daredevil like i what, start what? the the main Are one that i haven't daredevil? read is souls which i started last night i'm four issues in yeah right so. huh. yeah i gotta i gotta read souls as well so uh mm-hmm. charles souls after I guess that's a brew baker because I, I already read the art's really cool. So it's, it's, it's very good. um it's very stylized. There's a lot of, like you he has the black suit in it, but for all lighting, it's a solid white color. So yeah, although the, it's a black suit, half of it will be white if the light's shining on him. It's really the, really the cool black art. the black suit is really cool. Mm-hmm. And you can tell it kind of has like a leather appeal. It's it's re- almost like Nightwing suit. So right. it, it's very, very good. Is very, is uh Kirsten in, in Souls Run or no? So far, no. Because it takes place after Wade, right? Yeah. Yeah. So far, no, but we'll see. We shall see. I will, she should be. I mean, Harper's grinding his teeth right now, but you know that I'm just starting songs. <laughs> your, your, your favorite Daredevil run is Bendis, right? It's between Bendis and Wade. I really, wow. really. I like mean, Bendis. I mean, that's the debate I'm in too, but I think it's Bendis. I, mean, I think, I think right it's now, Bendis but too, but they're both Wade's... so good. And they're so different, but they're both so good. I don't know. Wade, Wade's. Has affected me a lot. I find. Which I think I'm really gonna to like Wade's show. run. Oh, you like definitely really like that. Definitely like the swashbuckler. You know. Yeah. It's Matt like, being happy. So, so much depression, uh, but also so much depression too. Yeah, he he gets beat up. He gets sad, but there's also moments like, uh, so he helps Silver Surfer with something, and so he needs to find something using his senses. So Silver Surfer gives him control of the board, 
and Matt just goes for a joyride because it's like he's been beat up so much and this is like the one moment in a long time where he feels happy so he just has fun with it like he knows where to go but at the same time he's gonna like do loop-de-loops and stuff like that so it's fun it's very very good Hunter, you've been reading Avengers like a madman lately, right? That's like... And my deed is done. I finished. Deed is done. How does it feel to be done with like the Secret Wars era? Um, like, it's satisfying, right? Yeah, yeah, it is satisfying. Like I literally, I was, I was in my bed and I finished and I closed the book and I went... <sighs> and my girlfriend went like, what's wrong? I went, I finished. And she goes... You wouldn't, you wouldn't get it. <laughs> yeah, literally, I, I finished my comic. I finished like two years of reading. She goes, oh, okay. <laughs> so i'm like wow if to me it's like i started march 2020 and so i finally I did. wow march 2020 mm-hmm. i wonder what other things happened that month huh? world shut down well that's why i read it yeah <laughs> so well, i know i'm like i need a comic read what's a long comic binge so i did it wow. two and, year, two, yeah almost two years later wow. i read secret wars as it came out and i wish i didn't because i knew it was going to happen you're Man, right. it hits different after that build up. The build up they call back to a lot of things. It's so cool. It's such a cool idea. And Reed Richards was a character that I'm like, he's cool. But after the past two years reading just Avengers and Illuminati stuff, Reed Richards is like top 10 favorite heroes ever. Really? Wow. So good. Hickman I, writes a perfect Mr. Fantastic. I, I read Secret Wars not not when it was coming out, but like pretty soon after it came out, like the, mm-hmm. when the trade first released. And I've never read any of the buildup that like you posted. So I, I feel like I'll appreciate it a lot more than I did when I read it. Oh, because the, the whole thing with Secret Wars, it's, it's the multiverse is dying. The, they called this in like Secret Wars 7 2015. They started mentioning this in like 2008. The multiverse is dying. And how it's dying is you have this infinite amount of worlds and every so often two worlds will spawn next to each other and they'll slowly collide and explode. The only way to stop it is if one of the Earths explode. Would they like somehow one of the Earths explodes before, and then that Earth is safe until another one appears. So it's this whole arc. There's it's new- like a survival of the fittest type. Yeah, thing. yeah. So Hickman's story is the Illuminati discover this in New Avengers issue one, and for forty issues they're monitoring the multiverse. Like, oh god, this could happen to us any second, and they're just like they're able to put these like trackers in so they know what Earths are going to collide. It's like, oh, Earth like 79, Earth 1060 is going to collide. And they're able to watch it to see what happens. And there's Illuminati and other worlds that are watching too. And so that's how they discover like, oh, if you blow up one, then the other survives. But that also means you're killing innocent people, like billions and billions of innocent people in doing so. So at first they use the Infinity Gauntlet to get rid of one. But when they do that, the stones shatter. So it's like, okay, we can't do that anymore. So they were able to save it once. So then it's like, okay, we have to build a bomb to blow up another earth that's coming and when another earth comes they're not no one's able to do it except for namor namor is able to like actually do it but they're just like jesus christ you just killed billions of innocent people and the earth that came to that side was dc was the dc universe there's like a lot of hints that there's a batman there like they show like there's there's a rich guy named wayne and there's a there's a guy who gets his power from the sun and stuff and namor just blew them all up so it was Jeez. basically the, the namor, so the name, the namor destroyed the dc universe. yeah exactly so Jeez. and then when they did that they're like oh my god like you just killed billions of people he's like yeah because i'm the only one who had like the guts to do it but it's such a good build-up and it ends with them being like how many universes are left there's two ours and one other and they look up and the other earth appears and it's the ultimate universe and, and then Miles Morales' story ends with him like walking outside. He looks up and there's 616 and like Iron Man's coming down, like the Iron Man that we all know. So it's like, oh my God, it's such a big, cool crossover. Wow. And, uh, so, so, so now you're reading uh, Soul's Daredevil. So you yeah. can tell Harper to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Um, after you read, that's not like that long of a run, right? It's like probably like less than 50 issues, I would guess. Uh, it's the omnibus is massive. <laughs> I Man, think it's maybe. like, well, there, it's so it's less than fifty, I believe. But with tie, there's a few tie-ins and annuals, so I think the onomus comes up to about, about sixty issues. Oh wow! Yeah. So so after that, that'll probably bring you to Bat February that we've been talking about. Mm-hmm. Drew, I don't know if I've told you this, but um, Hunter and I are considering in February only reading Bat books. That's it for back issues. Oh shit! Reading Morris and Batman. Reading, I'm gonna reread New Fifty Two Batman. Read reread New Fifty Two Batman, and then you know random bat stories here and there. Might reread Hush. 
mm-hmm. Black Mirror. I read Hush wow. recently, but Black Mirror, Long Halloween, all that shit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it starts with Mars and Mars and Omnis. Yep. So. Yes, finally. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're, the boys we're doing... reading. But the boys reading Mars. And... We're doing this because uh, the in anticipation Batman releases for the, March. The for the first week of March. So right. So idea. all of February is going to be bat back issues. Mm-hmm. It looks like at least. And then in March I might do Moon Knight, but just lead up to the Moon Knight show because I think Moon, like March 30th or something. Is As said earlier in the episode, Hunter will read all 200 issues of Moon every Moon Knight issue. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but in general, yeah, we're going to read a ton of Batman in February. You've Drew, already read a lot of Batman, but if you want to join us. Drew, I'll what's on the in. docket for you coming up here? Oh, like what I'm reading right now or what I want to read? Like, like what, what do you, what's, what's coming up next? Because I know it's X-Men is what you're reading right now. But um, Well, basically, I'm just trying to read I have like a long reading order of X-Men from like 2001 up until like the Bendis run. Basically, I'm just trying to read like every major important modern X-Men issue. Um, And I'm, I started in 2001 and now I'm in 2012 doing this for two and a half years. But last year I was like, I want to read as much X-Men as possible. That was like all 2021. Um, but I want to, I don't know, I need to take a break. I want to get into Daredevil. I want to read yep. Brubaker, Captain America, definitely Ultimate Spider-Man. Yep. Um, I'd like to read all the Avengers stuff that Hunter was posting about. Yeah. Cool. If only he listed like, issue numbers on issue his post. Numbers, man. You got to get issue uh, numbers. Just Google Bendis, so no, Avengers reading order. Just, just look on the back of your trades, <laughs> those issue numbers, and put and just include them. It, it just just google it or i'll send it to you <laughs> start okay you said start you're gonna do that you said you're gonna do that for the new avengers reading order because you sent me all the trades and i was like yeah i need the issue numbers buddy and you never sent me the okay start right now avengers disassemble no just no i don't want to hear it on the podcast i need it in writing just start just for tonight avengers secret disassemble war. secret war without the s <laughs> secret war <laughs> just read avengers disassemble <laughs> you don't need tie ins or so anything stupid. it's a one event and then <laughs> And then just yeah okay yeah I'll send you the issue numbers. But yeah, Thank you. That's that's what we're reading, is, and, and that's, that's the that's the show podcast. Yeah, it's been a good show. Drew was an unexpected guest, but it was great. Yeah, yeah. I just was talking. Uh, I just was talking to JD earlier, and I said, you know what? I have the link. I'm just gonna pop in. You know, <laughs> I meant to and tell you that Hunter, but I forgot. To tell you. I didn't yeah. think I didn't think you're gonna let me in, so I'm just like, oh, I'll just see if you know what happens, and then uh, yeah, you let me in, and uh, you, you didn't get the Sean treatment last week where he did not. Get- that's what that's what i thought was gonna happen i was like watch they're not gonna let me in and then i'm gonna hear about it on the podcast well for us we're just like we're talking about news of the week when sean was trying to join like we were in the middle of a quiz and it's like yeah it's true the greatest time yeah yeah Yeah. all right that's the episode uh if you could like on youtube subscribe all that shit i don't really care what you do but if you could do it i guess and it might hunter happy and he needs something to be happy about in life i do I, i really do need something just mm-hmm. give a poor canadian anything, boy. Anything. one one like helps one poor canadian boy it does and that, uh, that being me uh but yeah next week uh harper might be back from atlantis was it atlantis like, yeah atlantis fighting sean, for destroying the dc universe because harper went to atlantis to get a device to de-age sean so we could get back to a normal self so so yeah next week we'll be back to normal possibly. exactly maybe define normal uh Thanks for being here every second as a gift. What?